I'm bad. And one also wonders why the color contrast between the bright red ah. computer chair they have and the blue of everything else is very contradictory. And now we have to stop talking as he is about to hear us again. You know, I should have never gotten a, uh, a wide angle, angle camera lens here. It's like, Hetty, much. please. So. <laughs> <laughs> Peace face. So, just, so done. She's very disappointed in us. She's firing all of us. <laughs> hey, I cleaned my room. <laughs> I just Mom, got hired. Mom, don't be mad. I, I cleaned my room. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I just got hired. Damn it. This electrolyte stuff is really good. It's actually making my headache die down. I'm super happy with it. There we go. Are we happy now? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Hey, Cinder. Hey, yo. Don't mind me. I've just been having been having insane network issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fee feels your pain. Like to the point that I'm just full on rebuilding my entire network from scratch. Well, Fee's had the her uh, telephone provider patch her through her neighbors. Yeah, because cable. they cut through the goddamn cable. The plumber cut through the cable. No, yeah. No, I have to clarify the level of the damage we're talking about here. Officer. Welcome, son. So, the plumber severed the underground cable. But also, there's these little boxes on the side of the road. The Army mm -hmm. of Fiora has a new officer. That act as Welcome, the junction... Son to the main line that goes out into the infrastructure, mm -hmm. they literally cleave that off its foundation. What did so the this plumber is like, do? So this is like Puppy Smiles like level of computerized he, devastation. Gotcha. Did he steal your great axe and just have at it? Yes. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> Suffice to say, Fee's not happy because of the loss of business, and the, fo and the phone company's not happy because they he damaged some pretty expensive equipment. <laughs> what yes. happened to I'm I'm just not sure how a plumber managed this. We can definitely say there, he there, there, the there are questions being asked. <laughs> well, um, whoever that plumber works for, better hope they have a renewed um, license and insurance. Yes, I was going to say their business and insurance is going to be swearing at them at the moment. And that plumber might not be a plumber for very long. You'd be surprised. Hi, hi, hi. A lot of these, a lot of those types of pl uh, plumbings and different type of electricians, that sometimes they just don't um, do that insurance because they're like, oh, well, nothing bad will ever happen because the plumbing insurance is really goddamn expensive in the United States. Uh, they're, they're yeah. most, most of them are also in unions, too, you got to remember. So the, the yeah, like they would of them get fired, they'd have to do something very, very. Yeah, we had a person. I mean, we we literally had a person. An internet cable is not very. No, very yeah, they have to like break into someone's house. You know, no, <laughs> e not even that. We literally, I think I might have told the story once before. We literally had a company that was supposed to be installing an AC unit, a two-ton AC unit, drop it through the roof of someone's house into their bedroom, and they covered it with a tarp and left. And they, oh yeah, yeah, you remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And the other nice. problem is there was only a 16-year-old in the house, which you're not allowed to do when you work out a house unless there's an adult. 
the adults were on vacation. So the house sat there with a hole in the roof that was pretty sizable for two and a half weeks, and it rained several days. Oh, yeah. And they didn't have insurance. Mm. <clears throat> they probably weren't, uh, weren't in a union. Because that's the thing. Like, a lot of, a lot of unionized places require you to do Union fees and stuff, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Which is a mandatory thing. Okay, guys, by the way, um, who all is in World 20? Is everyone in? Is it working fine? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a bit tanky at the it's minute. The, yeah, it's a bit iffy, kind of, just because they, they're having issues, but as far as I can tell, everyone's in. Yeah. Okay. Works excellent Yeah, there was, like, there was an outage earlier, so things might be a little screwy today. So Are you sure you wanted to waste that roll? <laughs> 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 So we can have... No, I am just checking that everything's working. Those are not That's actual fine. rows. No, I know. What were you saying, Fee? We do have a minor uh, announcement tonight. Um, yes. I do have three Vermintide codes for you to be able to play the new expansion Chaos Waste with me tomorrow. The condition is you have to show up tomorrow. Um, but you can play them with me. You can stream them and everything as of tomorrow morning. You cannot, repeat this, you cannot show this to anyone before tomorrow morning. Or I will be very upset. And probably uh, yelled at by a fat shark, the developer right. of the game. Don't, don't, don't make me get yelled at. Yes, please don't make me get yelled at. Um... We are going to give one out at the beginning, uh, at the intermission, and at the end of the stream. So, uh, give you guys a few more minutes to filter in here, and I will go over terms and conditions again while we figure out who's going to get it. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oof. How dare you? I, sh I shouldn't be drinking soda while on mic. <laughs> kill you. I mean, you're going to kill me even more because it's uh, orange vanilla. Minus 50 DKP. Vanilla, that's a unique taste. Orange vanilla. Could be worse. It's really good, actually. Cinnamon lemon. Just in case you were wondering. You know what the worst hmm. drink I've ever I've ever seen someone drink is? The one of the, is a joke drink or an actual drink? An actual drink that they drink nearly every other day. Oh, God, what is it? Garlic strawberry. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. They say they like it. Garlic is not for a drink. They made it into a powder and they would mix it with their strawberry drink. That's... Why? Mm -mm. Their response to me was, well, people make bee pollen smoothies. And I'm like... <laughs> that's you get how that's worse, right? You get how that's a worse answer. <laughs> right? Okay, it seems like everyone's Next. here. Or at least a significant population of our uh, lovely, lovely viewers. So, uh, for, first key is going to be given away now. You will have to install the external uh, press server. So, this is a temporary server that you will have to install in order to have access to the uh, DLC and the pre-built characters that they have us playing with tomorrow. So, if you would like a Vermintide code... Please type Vermintide in chat. I will then roll a die for everyone who typed it into the chat, and uh, we'll see who gets it. Nice. Again, you do have to show up tomorrow and play with me tomorrow. That's that's kind of a requirement, is I do have to show these off and have people playing with me. Perfect. Yes. Should we do our intros while we're waiting for people, or are you... Uh, Absolutely. Okay, Okay, perfect. All right, I let's... shall mute on up then. Have... Yep. All right, <clears throat> let's go down the list. Final site. All right, I'm final site. So I'm your furry paladin who is seriously trying to reconcile his um, paladin duty and um, base kick survival. <laughs> <laughs> Heady. 
Hey, I'm Hedy. Um, I play Mark, who attempted to take the devil's bargain. Hmm. <laughs> Monsieur Kang. Hello, I am Kang, and I am playing Mary the Wizard, who provides this uh, secret meeting room. Monsieur Props. Uh, I am Props. I play as Euchris, uh erstwhile uh, Inquisitor, uh, Cowardly Kobold. There we have Mrs. Faye. Why did you introduce me like I'm somehow the short bus special over here? <laughs> Damn, Daz. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Fiora. I play Scooter, who is actually the short bus special. <laughs> but damn, I'm just getting like that rubbed in my face. Uh, so it's so Southern style as well. <laughs> Don't worry uh, about it. Uh, I only had three people actually type Bermintide in the chat, so I guess I'm going to roll a die for them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> on the bottom here, they we all, have... They all hear. Uh, at the bottom here, we have Cinder Spark. They assist with any of the technical things that I inevitably am going to break. It's going to happen. We have DJ Flawless, who's actually working today. Hooray. Um, then we have uh, Razzle. They assist with the maps. And any of the maps, the assets they are using is from Forgotten Adventures. Any questions about that? Just let me know. And I am Prince Dazzle. I'm a DM. <clears throat> I ruin everything for everybody, so you know that's my that's my goal. Um, <clears throat> so last time, they managed to make out make it outside of the mine. Um, there were oddly enough a couple demonish things at the mouth of the mine, and during a watch, a couple of them exited the mine and left. Um, afterwards. They managed to make it back into town um, after um, a, with a combination of Mark and uh, Ukris were able to decipher a scroll. From that, they were they went directly back to the Silver Cheetah Inn and confronted Jolly, <clears throat> giving him a secret code, which inevitably um, had him spill an incredibly large amount of information about a demonic cabal of Ruxasha and various different types of, of beings um, named the Lords of Dust, um, whose base is in the Demon Wastes. The party is currently in a back, is in literally a, di a specialized dining room in the inn, and they're having a discussion inside of a little pocket dimension inside of a rope trick, uh, thanks to Mary. And they are discussing what they're going to do. Because as Jolly was talking with them, he offered them quite a, long, a large number of specific things to the specific people. He didn't give one to everyone yet. But um, we ended with the party having a lengthy conversation about what they're going to do about it. And that's where we left off. Uh, Jolly had just got done putting down some food on the table, and he had walked back out the door, closing it. So, so we going to tell Jolly that uh, that that you know we're we're leaving. Uh, yes, I think we have to try anyway. Uh, tell him that we're going to go see the Archbishop. But will he let us go anywhere without signing his deal? That is my worry. Probably not, but we could hope. Uh, who wants to tell him? Not, not it. Those ghosts. This is rule in Cobalt, Cobalt household. Do you not do you not do this? It's Blinks not... repeatedly at the cobalt. I don't have a nose. Beat. Beat counts. That's your beat, then. Just trust me. <clears throat> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Ah, it's Mark! <laughs> You're it. 
<laughs> Mark, you have to tell him. So, what am I telling him? That we are expected by the Archbishop and uh, have a timetable to report in by. And, and if we do not go, they will send people probably to come for us. And and I have to talk to Dad before signing any other demonic contract things. And I need to visit the bathroom first. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you need brown pants or yellow pants? Uh, any pants I can run away with. Jogging pants. Jogging pants. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped in for that one. Well, Mark, it's 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 gonna be you. You you're yes. a, you're a persuasive guy. Say we are considering his offer, but don't give any concrete answers. So, who's going to go to the Archbishop? Me. We all are. <laughs> I have to. Because I, I am expected, and there is a timetable, I'm sure. Same. I mean, you, Chris, and Connor, I mean, they're fair enough. We've got, he know the bishop knows we've got a silver flame. That silver flame will be expected to turn up when we report in. You, Chris, as the training inquisitor, is, again, he's going to expect that somebody important will insist on speaking with him. I'm not sure I can really make a case for the rest of us. Well, we, we go together. Yeah, we're a team. <clears throat> Just say that we met with him as a team. He's an asshole. He all expect to talk to the team. It's true. He, these are all true things. There is no lies there. Uh, we, I'm sure. Are we sure? Never mind. You know, if we believe it is true, let's just go with it. The Archbishop no, is an and and he does expect us to come. So. Yeah, I'm just you. Uh, let's just say if Jolly accept, allows us all to go, that would be very surprising. I think yes. So I need to know what I've got to work with. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys hear a familiar voice again coming from outside the pocket dimension. Hello, the food is going to get cold for all of you. Do you not like Jolly's food? This is a lot. This is a very long conversation you are having. You make the cat nervous, yes? Yeah, we probably don't want him nervous. I think he's always um, nervous. We, we're coming down. We had to hammer thing out. Before we go, Yukis, did you want to look at the thing he gave us? Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, probably a good idea. I'm going to pull out the gloves and the tongs. I'm going to carefully flip open the lid of the box. You, Chris, has learned his lesson at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Cue uh, radiant light that does something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Game over. No. Um, you open it up <clears throat> and you find a gnarled looking black dagger. The strangeness about the dagger is instead of the blade being, you know, normally like this, it's more like a black lightning bolt. And it kind of, it's really weird. Almost like a Chris, if you've seen one of those before, the, how the blade kind of sways, but it's pitch black. It does not reflect any light. Ooh, uh, scary dagger. Probably magic. 
Where do you well, get... Can I... Uh, should I try and identify it? Do you... I do not think we have ten minutes. Yeah, fair enough. Where do you get black no. shiny metal? Can... I like it. You'd have to ask him. Probably uh, hell. By the way, Fee, Probably it's... hell. <laughs> but... By, by, by the sounds of it, by definition, this is not shiny. <laughs> this is absorbing all light, not uh, reflecting light. I Come would on, say... Shiny's a, shiny's oh, a so. I would say, no, you do not have ten minutes to identify the item. <laughs> <I can hear. laughs> wow, you have surprisingly good hearing, considering we're still inside the pocket dimension. But it is okay. a hole that I can look into. It is right there. It's not hard. <laughs> you can, you can over the, uh, the edge. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Though, uh, a counter-argument to that is, and I will cast Mind Relution, creating a sign that says, uh, can we contact the Inquisitor and should we seek him on to this person? In an angle that he can't see. Oh, on the inside? On uh, the inside, Icarus, yes. Eucharist pulls his, his head his head back and does does this low down so also not hopefully visible from the uh, from the inside. Uh, then Eucharist is going to crawl out. Okay, uh, seems like we have reached a decision. He's currently standing um, in front of the left doorway. The right one's still closed. Just kind of standing like his back is against the like lining of the door. Ah, so now you come out. Are all of you coming out or just you? Uh, I think they're all coming. They they better be all coming. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, if we don't all come, Inquisit in uh, Archbishop Gut Inquisitor, which would be you. Yes. And I like you. You good. Oh, thank you. You 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 good short stack. <laughs> so Great. Mark climbs out. <laughs> Mister Kona, are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming out. <laughs> I have something I wish to discuss with you. Do you know? Yes. Why are you were taking your time in such a place? This one decided to do a little peeking, you know. Um, I believe I may have offered you something you may not have wanted. Is that correct? It is something that I want, but it's not on my short list. Ah, then let this one apologize by giving you information for free. Huh? No deals attached. As an apology. Very well. I know where your brother is. He is alive. And well? Maybe. That is a second question. First one was free. Nice. Wait, you charge per question? It was a... Oh, that's a question! No, don't ask! <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was an unfortunate turn of phrase. <laughs> so, you all seem very nervous. I am cobalt. Everything makes me nervous. <laughs> Do not I am worry. human. I'm the same. Do not worry about our conversation. I have made sure to lock the front door magically. So if we wish to talk, no one can listen. Oh, that is a big relief. Thank you that for is, uh, uh, reassuring. locking the front door. Yes. Mark's not looking quite so relieved. <laughs> so then. <laughs> Internally, you, Chris, is going... <laughs> Rick and cut cut to King Kai from DBC Hold Bridge. On. No, no, no. no. <laughs> exactly. Hold on, Scooter has to be the ignorant one. She walks across the end to the front door and checks to make sure it's locked. <laughs> it will not move. It is not budging. It has a very very thin, like ephemeral, like purplish uh, coating to it. Like, she tests every bit of it. She tests the doorknob, she tests the hinges, she tests the door frame just to make sure it's all good and in place. 
Yeah, it is. It's very solid. Oh. For it being made of wood, it feels like it's made of steel. She turns around. You do good work. I like you. Oh, thank you. That's quite the compliment. I shall aspire to do the same for my new kobold associate in the kitchen. He will take much work. Much work. So, so, the deal you lay on the table before us. Yes. He gets a bit there's, of a grin on his face. There's a few hiccups. Oh. Some, some near future, some not so near future. Most immediately is that at least some of us are going to need to report to the Archbishop very <laughs> soon, otherwise he's going to get mm, very antsy about things. This is true. Mm. So I was hoping... It, it would be unfortunate if you were to tell him about me, however... Well, I mean, would you permit the kobold and the paladin to go while we discuss matters? Oh, the paladin. He seems lost in thought. Perhaps he would not be the best to go. He's seen so much. So many dreams. He would I can't believe it. <laughs> I am <laughs> the one he likely suspects would survive, so I would have to go. Not I to mention you. the Archbishop has this place directly surveyed from what we saw in his office. He I probably know. knows we've re we've all returned. For the most part, yes. Well then, I trust the kobold's word, as he seems like the honest type. However, you, Mr. Connor, do I have your word that you will not speak of my... how to say particulars to the Archbishop? He holds out a hand to you. Um, his hand's very strange, as you all have now noticed, is that um, Raksasha, their palms are backwards. So this part of their hands are fuzzy, and these parts are not. Do we have a deal, Mr. Connor? I will not reveal your true intentions. He holds out his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a slight, <laughs> gets a slight grimace on his face as you do the backwards hand thing. He's like, "Fair enough." <laughs> he kind of motions his finger, and you hear a as the purple glow from the front door fades. I do hope you keep your word, Mr. Connor. Okay, Connor, let's go. We have to report him. If you all wish to go, you can. I got what I wanted. I will have to um, discuss with Father before making deals with other demons. It's kind of a... Um habit of his it is fair however if you do wish to proceed with what I want to do you can tell the oh the kobold has left this was important for him to hear damn it, <laughs> <laughs> damn it props, get back here <laughs> Wait, what have you no he is he is eating a lot of cheese it's just very expensive 
I have made a grand mistake. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> before before Daz's voice melts. <laughs> Anyways, I'll continue and I'll just re- I'll just re-explain to him. If you do wish to proceed with my portion of the plan, I believe you're familiar with the warehouse. The Archbishop has told you about. Um, Sorry, scanning back through notes. I will do my best. By the port side of town, there is a suspect warehouse that he has a lot of interest in. If you convince him to go there with you, feed his ego and let him know that he'll be the one to find the culprit that wishes for his assassination. If you lead him there, I'll do the rest. Hmm. How does that sound? I will uh, keep that in mind. I'm not um, very good with numbers. Which dock warehouse? He'll know which one you're speaking of. He has been looking at it for quite some time. Oh, I am reminded. We still have the arena underneath the inn, if you all are interested later. (laughs) I believe I promised a dragon egg. So, what is the challenge for this dragon's egg? There will be three encounters if you can survive all three in sequence. The reward is yours. (coughs) And what are these encounters? That's the fun of it. You do not know. Hmm. Also, Mr. Connor. Yes. What have you sensed from the tower? He kind of, he's Uh. looking at you and tilting his head a bit. There is a present. It feels unnatural, is it not? Yes. How unnatural do you think it is, Mr. Paladin? About as natural as I sense you. (laughs) This is true. However... There's another reason I want that tower. Mr. Bishop has been doing experiments. What sort? I do believe the word is coupling divine and fiendish beings to create something. Enjoy that information. Please. On your way. Oh, uh, now props is back, John, to repeat that thing you said about the warehouse. Yes. um, He had said that um, if you guys decide, when you're talking with the bishop, to go with his plan of getting rid of the bishop, to convince him to go to a suspicious warehouse at the docks that he is aware of, Um, And if you are able to somehow convince him to go there using his ego to kind of make him think that he'll be able to stop the um, apprehend the assassin, then Jolly will do the rest. Huh. (laughs) 
So, you all are free to go. Unless you wish to say, your food is getting cold. <laughs> I think we need to go. Yes. So, we go. Eucharist goes through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Scooter stops and gives him a respectful bow and says, I, I apologize for my companions. Um sudden exit. They're not used to dealing with uh, uh, those who speak uh, infernal language. He kind of puts his paw up to his chest. Uh, I've, it's been some time since this one's been bowed to in a respectful manner. Thank you. How nice of you. I remember that. <laughs> Mar Mark will uh, nod as he passes. <laughs> Well, you are all free to leave the inn as he is not stopping any of you. Gonna let's out of us. <laughs> Do you feel well, that just door, as far as I'm concerned? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so uh, you guys are now outside of the inn. The door kind of shuts behind. Eucharist is going to walk towards the uh, the Archbishop's place and not say anything for a minute. Do like a little bit of a beeline there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can, Connor walks, uh, you know, with you, Chris, for a while until he finds an alley, quickly ducks in there and just vomits. <laughs> Mark, 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 will stand on the corner of, Mark, Mark will stand at the corner of the alley and just kind of act as lookout and comments uh, to Scooter. Well, that is quite possibly the second or third most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, no, he nice. harmless. He was just big fluffy kitty. Nice work, Mark. You got him to think that I agreed to something that I didn't agree to. Good. Yes, very good. Very helpful. Uh, I am concerned, though. He just, he just you are uh, not. He just you are not allowed to, to betray him, Mark, and neither are you. But, <laughs> well, I guess it's up to me now. I'm in the only one who made the deal. Uh, you say Mark, said that he would, mm. Mark said that he wouldn't, and the rock Sasha took him at his word. I said nothing. But a demon should know better, or a devil should know better. And not to, to make implied deals explicit in writing. Very important. But they... They... So, hang on. To, to know how the deal makings of sort of, of these sorts of creatures to work, do I, do I need to roll anything or can I just assume that I've got a rough idea of how... Knowledge religion. If you want to understand how the Raksasha's specific deal working works, anyone who wishes to understand that can roll a knowledge religion. Well, okay, Mark knows fuck all. Eleven, maybe basic information. Hey, yeah, at least uh, at least has got, got some idea. <laughs> Scooter with the fourteen, nice. Connor and Scooter, you guys are aware that. Rexasha are unique amongst fiends. They are able to make a deal and bargain over words. They do not need a contract or physical thing of any way, shape, or form. They are capable of doing it via words or expressions. Any amount of agreement to them constitutes as a yes. Uh, did anyone awesome. make any amount of agreement to him at all? I did. Oh, okay. I told them that my our friends would be coming. That is all that I said, and I said nothing else the entire conversation. <laughs> I said that I would not tell of his true intentions. Takes out a piece of paper, starts writing. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I thought you would just shut up while we told him. Connor, you, you, I, I, Connor, I, you don't have Connor. That might that might still count. I would Connor, just. Yes, I um, can. I can do this for you, Connor. It is okay. 
Connor. You do not have to invalidate a deal or break your honor or any such thing. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. Hands you Chris the paper that he just wrote on. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, you Chris unrolls it. Is I, it platonic? Connor, I oh, you can't read, can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can looks at it and goes, yes, uh, very good. I don't read, Connor. What are you saying? Uh, what, what's going on, Scooter? <laughs> Connor, I don't mean break this to you badly, but I willing bet if you wrote on a piece of paper, folded it up, and tried to mail it before it got to where it was going, it would be blank. Chris stares at the piece of paper for a second and then goes, Connor, I'm going to make sure that you are very, very safe. And then he eats the paper. <laughs> well done, Kobold. You guys <laughs> hear a familiar voice from out of the alleyway. I'm doing shopping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to know we're being watched. We wouldn't want to make any mistakes, would we? Just a coincidence. Have a nice day. I'll be at the docks. So... And you see him walk off. <laughs> okay, so who's up for migrating to another continent? Ooh, me. I, I vote yes. I hear that uh, uh, somewhere far away is nice this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so, I heard so too. <laughs> it doesn't take long for you guys to um, make your way back to the Tower of Judgment. Um, there is a familiar guard just kind of standing there at the front gate, just kind of back up against the wall, just kind of lazily. It looks like he's flipping through um, like a courier's notes. Just flip, flip, sees you all approaching. Well, um, looks like you're all back. Hey. Have this guy's name. Is this is this this is a quartermaster potato? Is it? No, this is okay. just another random guard you guys got some information from. He greeted well, you the last time around. You've seen him once. He just never asked for okay. his name or anything. Hi. Yeah, we survived. We succeeded for values of success. And. <laughs> And no one died. Oh wow! Someone died. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. One of one of the prisoners died. Well, no, oh, no, no, no. Do you see any prisoner with us? They're all dead. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be straight up about what he did. You know. Oh. Oh. Ooh, apparently, it's not bad. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right, you guys looking to come in? Uh, yes. We have to uh, report in about our job at the Silver Mines. Right, 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 right. All right, I'll open the gate. Uh, I assume you guys all know how to step on the thing and go in the thing. I hate yes. teleporting. It makes my stomach vomit. I remember. Ugh. All right, then. You all have fun in there. He uh, unlocks the gate. It creaks open, and you are free to walk in. Uh, 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 at the suggestion of having fun, Mark just walks past him with a raised eyebrow. Yuka <laughs> is going to go and jump on the teleporter. Gone. I assume everyone's popping in. Yep. Yep. Mark, Mark will <laughs> Mark will remain behind just to make sure Scooter steps on it. Yeah. <laughs> Remembering Scooter last time, not being too happy about it. Scooter again walks up to it, sticks the sticks her, sticks a, the silver sword in and out of it a few times. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> I don't like teleport. I always get stomach sick. I hear that. Uh... <laughs> Actually, Mary's going to ask. Uh, I mean, are there stairs? Can we do is stair? Right? Is the is the dude that guided us before? Is he there? <clears throat> I'll get to you in a minute. Well, well not everyone's teleported in yet. Is oh, uh, is, is, is Sophie? You're 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 stood right by the teleporter, Effie. 
Yeah, Scooter's <laughs> pointing at the teleporter and, and then looking at the guard and going, "Are there stairs? Can we do stairs?" Fly up there. Can, can, can I? Can I? Can I try and shove her onto the teleporter? If you could beat, an, <laughs> beat her in an athletics check, sure. Can I, I aid him? <laughs> Both you guys. Ugh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Angry squawking noises. Uh, nope. <laughs> well, he's aiding you, so you would get advantage. So, uh, Scudo, roll in athletics. <laughs> Six. <laughs> she is as a mountain. <laughs> you two both go to push Scooter, and she's just like, burnt. Scooter turns her head, looks down at Mark, and goes, Mark, usually they ask to date first before they touch my butt. <laughs> Frowns and redoubles efforts to shove. <laughs> um, what are you all doing to that bird? Trust me, you don't want to know. You're you're upstairs already. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Scooter groans. Trying to get sides, her And she'll wait for Mark to give like the absolute biggest push, and then she'll step to the side so step he falls forward. in first. <laughs> <laughs> and then walk in. Creams into the teleporter, teleports up, and just falls flat on his face. You know what? I'll just <laughs> oh, let that. Mark, I'll just dynamic let entry. That yeah, I'll just let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Connor turns to the guard and just shrugs. <laughs> and oh. Actually, right. seeing that, Mary's going to cast Grease right in front of the teleporter. But you you no, don't know they're going to see them. anything. You can't see them. <laughs> I mean, when they, when they exit. Oh, oh, my God. Anyways, yes. <laughs> then Scooter's going to... Going to suck it up, casually walk through, look at Mark and go, you make fool of self. Are you okay? Just kind of does that and sticks his thumb up in the air. Oh my god. Did Mark just Let's, let's bring it back. Mark, Mark's um, face first against the teleporter with his arm up in the air with a thumb. To answer your question, uh, Ukris, yes, the guy is there watching this buffoonery happen. Ukris is just like... Just sitting there. When when Mark comes in, he he, he goes, "Ooh, nice dynamic entry, Mark." <laughs> <sighs> I guess I am to assume that it's done then. For certain values of done, yes, yes, no, it is. it's done. <laughs> for All right. Values. Well, the Archbishop would be very pleased for your visit. Follow me. And he turns and begins walking. Uh, Eucharist is going to trail behind him a little bit um, once everybody's gathered back up. And he's going to, as we're walking, he's going to say, so uh, this is kind of it. We have a choice. Uh, I do not think that working with Rock Sasha is a good idea, but I want to make sure that we all agree about what we are about to do, because we how are about, how about here. How about this one? We explain that the Rakshasa is setting, that the true culprit is setting up a trap for him at the warehouse. You are implying that we allow him to be. And that if the Archbishop was to be there on scene when it happens, he would be the he would be the hero of the people. But isn't that exactly what he told us to say? No, he told us to get the Archbishop there not aware that it's a trap just to say that the target's going to be there we explain that the target's going to be there because it's a trap let everybody fight it out and as some would say let the gods sort the mess out <laughs> so betray everyone and then hope it works out somehow in our favor 
<laughs> Mark, that's a brilliant yeah. plan. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> like Mark's plan. Then he can't really complain. I honestly like Mark's plan. We, 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 th this sounds like a good idea. We get rid of asshole and we get rid of untrustworthy douche. Those are right terms, right? Those are what we're calling them? Um, I think that's fair. We from now on, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, what were we saying, Connor? We shouldn't be discussing that here. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> what the level of douchebaggery that people were dealing with? <laughs> it's just, just for the sake of my own um, whatever. Could you all roll stealth for me while you're having this conversation? <laughs> I mean, I tried to imply that we were having a, a quiet conversation. I know, but, you know. I rolled a disadvantage. Bloody hell, roll 20. Wow. Connor, Mary, yeah. and Scooter got better stealth checks than Sneaky Kobold and Sneaky Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Mary is kind of sneaky. Mary is kind of sneaky. Good to know. Okay. You guys eventually do come to a familiar, very large door. Um, and the um, guy in the, in the darker robe... Uh, moves to the side, opens the door, and motions for you all to go in like you did last time. He's awaiting you. Good luck. Good. Um, Connor's first. doing divine sense again to get a better sense of the place. Try and Under get a more bead on the... What's the magic. radius on that again? 30, I think. That much is important. Welcome to the paragraph of information. 60. Yep, it is 60. Okay. Yeah. You are sensing fiendish and divine and a divine celestial um, presence from beneath. Beneath? Seems to be directly beneath the Archbishop's Grand Chamber. Huh. As you all walk in. You currently see the um, a paned glass having normally, you know, it still has all the different parts of town getting looked at. And oh. the Archbishop himself is currently standing, moving his hands in a way you can see small trails of arcane moving from it as he eventually turns and looks at all of you. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, I assume... offer a, a respectful bow. Hey, look at you. Hmm. Seems you are returning with a far less crew than you left with. Mind explaining that to me? Far less crew. Oh, you mean the prisoners, yes. Correct. Well, as a the... judgment, um... They were taken to uh, serve in service uh, to atone for their uh, poor choices. I think that is a fair statement. Right. Uh, one of them met a, uh, frankly, horrific demise uh, at the hands of a uh, he terrible was, demon creature. He, he, he got eaten by demon. His so sacrifice... Not. His sacrifice was worth it. Other demon left without attacking us. Yes. You allowed a demon to leave your visage. Uh, Mr. Connor, is that true? It was a battle that we, we would not be able to win. And? And if we'd have fought that we demon, the other one. we wouldn't have been in a position to inform you of what did happen in the mine. To be clear, Demon went home, went back where it's supposed to be. There's a gateway to the hells in the mines. There are There's... crystals that can open gateways to the hells in the mines. It very bad. Bad, but not as bad as it once was. Good news. Yes, information. We have destroyed many of the crystals, probably almost all of the crystals that uh, that summon the, uh, the gateway. Although, 
given the size of the cavern, caverns we encountered, there may be other deposits with kind of, access to the mine. He kind of waves his hand a bit and points at Connor. I want you to explain this to me in great detail on what happened in the mines. How many demons were there? What did you face? And what is the current state of the silver mines? We encountered... Well, I encountered two demons. One killed the orc, and we Alone defeated me. it. Yes. The other was a higher fiend. We, it would have been fully confronting him. We would have perished, and we would not be able to bring back this information to you. It just left you alone? I find that hard to believe. We were also very surprised. <laughs> there is no other way to put it. We were also very surprised. It seemed to have no interest in us. It was looking for the other demon. We And when it saw that we had killed it, I think it left. We don't understand why this worked or how this happened. I see. So, what is the state of the mines? And what... I will assume then the demon was what killed everyone in the mines? There was a infestation of weird bug creatures. The heck were they called? Yeah, we did actually get a name for them. I'm just we did looking for them. Name. Yeah, I couldn't find it. <laughs> They look uh, like this. That would be Cruthix. Uh, Cruthix, yes. I have it written down here somewhere. Yep. I see. And you cleared out the infant station then? Yes. yes. We yes. we defeated the um, hive mother. And the others you know, were, def were no longer active. There we... was a... We then collapsed the tunnels that they were using as a warren or home. I'm not really sure how you would describe it. You collapse the tunnels. Yes. The, the mine is intact. How much of the... The mine is intact. The... How? I will put it to you in, uh, in a straight manner. Uh, roughly one half of the mine was compromised by our uh, work to collapse the uh, undermining tunnels. However, that section of the mine was already completely filled uh, with um, a Swiss cheese-like warren of tunnels that would have eventually caused collapse if you had continued to mine there. Uh, also, also, it seemed to be sure. the main area that the green crystals were occupying. It was the only way to make sure that the green crystals were destroyed. The significant portion of them were in the rear section of the mine. We collapsed it in order to ensure that there would be no more uh, demonic incursions. Future mining will require less excavation. He looks over at <laughs> mining will require less excavation. He looks real. over at he looks over at Scooter with his eyebrow raised as she is raising her hand. Yes, I wanted to make sure I had permission to speak first. You told him, not the rest of us. I wanted to make sure I could talk. He almost seems taken aback by this. Wasn't expecting it. Yes, you may speak freely. Um, Yay! So, um, what was thing in back of mind that was that we haven't mentioned yet? A, a, a rock, li rock lizard thing? A what? A rock dragon. Oh, oh, yes. No, we were getting to that. We got chased out by that. Oh. Let's back up a couple steps. <laughs> <laughs> Scooter's just sitting there smiling really happy like she's done something amazing. I, I mean, we, we were getting that. Uh, or at least you there guys are getting a, that. <laughs> there is a dragon inside the mines. Uh, yes. Big... Kind of. Big lizardy creature, massive wings, four legs, rear legs, you know, four legs on it. Big, 
nasty mouth, so I'm assuming that's a dragon. Some kind of draconic creature, anyway. Very strange. So the mines are harboring a draconic creature. Harboring is strong word. When the uh, section collapsed uh, after our efforts to uh, destroy the crystals, it the, might have uh, woke up. It it awoke um, it. Well, we were no, able to no, see it in no, the collapse no. section. We were able to see it in the collapse section. Hang on a second. We're not saying anything wrong. What are you doing? No, it's not <laughs> demonic. It's it's draconic. Difference first. Second, they are also harboring dr- demonic creature because that's creature that can open portal, go back and forth. That uh, we convinced to leave, but it might come back. All right. Yeah, I still don't I'm... know how you did that. It what? Uh, everyone, I only want the bird speaking for the moment. <laughs> what did you say? You're being very forefront with me. You convinced a fiend to leave? Yes. Would you walk me through how you did this? Well, first, I we did I am, not... I am very curious, too, actually. <laughs> we did not immediately attack it. First. He eyes Connor very, very glaringly as he looks back at, at Scooter. Second... Um, hi, hi, hi! This bag of hugs for high dollars. It was there for told. Okay, where did that? Lonely. The lonely. It was there looking for lonely that ate our prisoner. We killed lonely, and sent it back. So he—that's what he was there for. So once I, um, uh, uh, I don't want to say told because I didn't actually talk. What you call a uh, 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 tell with mind? Telepathy? Yeah, it has that. Are you telling me? I believe you said your name was Scooter? Yes. You have an odd ability to calm down and speak with fiendish creatures? Is that correct? No. Fiendish creature was not there to cause trouble. Fiendish creature was looking for other fiend that was its friend. In my experience, friends? normally they attack on sight. Oh. So you have a gift. See him kind of <laughs> moving something around in his hand a little bit. I might have use can I, of you. Can I try and catch what it is between his fingers? You know, vis- uh, you know, visibly sort of work out what it is. Roll perception. Even with a plus nine, I only get a 17. I 17 is mean, pretty good, though. That's all pretty good. He's flipping what looks like... Um, it's Yeah, at first you thought it was a coin, but it's like a small, like, opal. That he's just kind of. Oh, I um, I am already committed to different church. I I I, I can't. <laughs> I, I I can't accept offer to assist you other than indirectly. I'm not speaking of joining the Silver Flame. They wouldn't allow you, anyways. I'm talking about special projects. If you're able to commune yourself with fiendish creatures in a positive manner, that might be useful to us here. Yeah? Um, again, I'm already committed to other um, organization. I can't, I can't do that without them releasing me from prior commitments. I apologize. Did I say that right? Yes, I said that right. I think you might misunderstand what the uh, Archbishop is talking about. He just might want you to talk to a demon for him. Am I getting that right? Are you asking Scuda to talk to a demon for you? Possibly. It's none of my business, frankly. I feel like if he was asking that, it would be lots of Inquisitor business. Oh, I mean, it's not the Junior Inquisitor's business whatsoever. Well, I'm just saying that a peaceful outcome with a fiend is an interesting idea. (laughs) Anyways, so, I guess the mine is recoverable, and though... The draconic entity is going to be an issue. Unless I just don't tell anyone about it. As Um, long as... I feel like if you don't 
tell about it and deal with it, it will, uh, uh, be hungry. Maybe. <sighs> and so sometimes it. dragons sleep, too, for I, a long I, time. I, I, Dragon that size. I, I don't mean to misjudge workers and how, um, strong they might be, but, um... Your workers are probably crunchy and go good with uh, tomato sauce. I think what you're trying to say is that the workers are idiots. You're correct. All right. Hmm. Uneaten workers are better than eaten workers. I Maybe. think what you're saying is dragons eat people. All right. Anyways, so... That's going to take some time to fix. Fair enough. So, anything else you'd like to report to me? Oh, and well, I do believe I promised a reward, correct? Uh, well, yes, there is There is more to um, to report. Uh, um, but before, before you do that, props, yes. Mark, uh, so to play to GM. Mark thinks consciously about talking about Jolly to the Archbishop in terms of, you know, revealing certain parts of what Jolly's um, said. And just basically looking to see if there's any kind of magical reaction to that, that consideration. Raw perception. There you go. There we go. <laughs> wow. That's okay. Wow. I was going to say it was a 20, but uh, you got the 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking about, you're looking at the Archbishop. One of the pieces of glass off to the side looks like it's of a dock building. There's some fruits there. You see Jolly walk over. Look, uh, kind of pick up a melon looking at it and he looks directly over and you see him as if he's looking directly at you and he just goes Mark will focus very hard on that particular pane of glass seeing if the Archbishop picks up on it okay we roll his reception <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Anything else? Mark sits back and uh, leaves things to uh, you, Chris. Sus suspecting that opening his mouth at this junction may be unwise for his continued existence. <laughs> 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 ah, Archbishop, there is more to uh, more to tell. Uh, something that I think um, will matter greatly to you beyond even the importance of the silver mines and the dragon and all of these other things that we have discussed. Oh, oh, there's more. Great. There is more. It has been it has been a long few days, Archbishop. I tell you, I never expected being a junior inquisitor would be this busy. Oh. Right. So what's the problem now, Inquisitor? Uh, no problem. More of, uh, well, I guess it is a problem. Uh, we know who Keeper Darun is. Really? Yes. You found that out quite quickly. It was uh, revealed to us. And how did that happen? By Keeper Darun. You spoke to him? He spoke to us. Oh, really? Yes. <sighs> Keeper Darun is not a assassin in the uh, simple sense. He is a, uh, well, he is a, a fiend. A fiend? A fiend. A rakshasa, to be precise. Yes. A what? No. What did you just say? <laughs> 
Ale rakšasa. He kind of leans back. His posture has his facial expression has changed. Wait, how all of you, how do you know this? Because he revealed himself to us. And he revealed himself to you. Yes, he attempted to coerce us into a uh, plot to defeat you. And how are you explaining this to me, then? I am explaining this to you because I have spoken no words to the Rock Sasha except for my friends are coming. Does this make sense to you? Where is he? He is in a... Um, he is awaiting in a... What was it? A dock warehouse? St still still watching that one shard very intensely. <laughs> he is uh, waiting in a uh, dockside warehouse of sorts, I suppose. Mary is just subtly going to do minor illusion and create a big sign over you, Chris's head that says, it's totally a trap. You could just going Your to spell takes no effect in this room. Nice. Okay. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> remember, this is this is this is super paranoid. Believe Never me, this mind. place is uh, this place is warded against the arcane. <laughs> Connor. You let wait the rock Sasha. Speak I will, to you and leave. I will, explain. I will explain. Connor was forced. Forced in what way? He was forced in order to leave the place. Um, uh, yes? When... If you make any... Uh, what is called? Uh, f uh, a, a verbal... Uh, uh, yes. Deal. Of any sort with... Uh, Rakshasa thing is uh, enough to form contract you are bound to. If Connor had lashed out at him, Connor be dead. Well, and Connor, Connor was forced into a uh, into a agreement, and the... uh, we require his expertise and also his uh, trustworthiness in order to prove our claim here that there is a Rakshasa. Uh, if Connor, however, would speak and uh, reveal this to you, it would uh, alert the Rock Sasha immediately. So, Connor has so to you. how many of you are the Rock Sasha's thrall then, besides Connor? Uh, Still staring intently at the. Uh, Screw the points at Mark. <laughs> Probably Mark. Who is yeah. still very intently looking at that particular shard watching uh, Jolly. I think like probably. Probably, uh, probably Scuda. Maybe Scuda. Scuda, you said yes to him, right? No, I told him that any deal I have to make, I have to talk to someone else first. That's true. So, any agreement between us is null and void until I get third party. So if I am to understand this as clearly as I can, the only one of you that made a deal openly with a fiend was a paladin of the Silver Flame. Openly? No. He was forced into into a corner. You uh, are never he, forced into a had corner. He, had he refused, he would be dead, and we would have one less associate with which to prevent, present to you this information, and also one less uh, person that would be able to potentially combat the, uh, the Rock Sasha. Connor, what are your vows? Speak. Defend the faith. Mm hmm. And. Spite evil. Really? And what's more evil than a fiend? The creatures that control the fiends. 
So you're making excuses. I'll have to be very astute in knowing that one of Garrick's protégés talks to fiends. Good to That's know. Weird. It seems like you really enjoyed the fact that uh, that Scooda talks to fiends. <laughs> That's different. She hasn't sworn herself to the Silver Flame. Would you believe me if I told you that uh, I told Connor to make that deal as a Inquisitor? Good to know. It was the only choice. He would have been dead. I would not let that happen. I've already let one prisoner die under my watch and uh, fail to meet the uh, requirements of service that were bound by his contract. It was unfortunate. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Mark's going to walk over to the uh, Wall of Shards and... Uh, well, that's behind so the uh, the Archbishop. He's going to do it. <laughs> and he's... Uh, has Jolly moved to any of the different shards oh, he's, on the like, wall? After, after he did that, he left that glass plane. You haven't seen him after that. Okay. I've I've not seen him since. Yeah. Well, I'm now studying them, looking for him. I mean, he literally turns and looks at you. What are you doing, Mark? What are you doing? I am bound not to say. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm gonna roll an in. <laughs> 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 I mean, the glass is pretty beautiful. <laughs> well, Mark, the only reason, I, Mark, I, Mark, I think you stop now. I think the only Ma reason that uh, Mark would say something like that is if uh, it had something to do with the Rex Asha. Yes. I'd prefer you be in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not being given. Able to... I literally told you that people are trying to assassinate me. I don't really like it when people get behind me. <laughs> um, so he get, he'll give one last. He'll give one last sweep of the the shards, and then uh, sort of head back to the group and stand next to Scooter. So say Connor will say the same. Another thing, um, we mentioned crystals in the cave. Um, yes. Goes into his bag and pulls out the um, the quartermaster's journal and asks some um, Eucharist for the other one. Oh, yeah. Eucharist grabs the, uh, the other one. <laughs> so well. the quartermaster appears to have been trading these um, crystals with a third party. Once appears to be written in giants yes he has falsified his uh his logs the uh and the numbers do not add up did you find the quartermaster yes yes where is he we found his body and we left it in oh. the rooms of his house good all right yes. let me look at it he reaches out and presumably you give him the um yep. the uh he um, starts reading we, yeah we will require those back because um the inquisitor has some um, tasked us with investigating the family yes he starts, I will give he, those back but you can make copies for your records if you require them i won't need to oh, he good. starts reading through it he reads through the one that's obviously doctored the one that you are aware of any hands that one back immediately second one he reads for quite some time about 15 minutes he goes through all of them do you read giant yes oh that's very I, cool technically i could read anything oh there's a spell for that <laughs> i want that spell i need that spell yeah speaking of should i maybe teach you how to read it could be very handy <laughs> 
I'll ignore that. Perhaps Not a you, conversation him. for. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a conversation from when we're not in here. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. That's worrisome. It seems the quartermaster was trading with a fiend from the hills. Seems to be a running theme these days. If I, this had good you. Hey, don't you mean running fiend? He hands the book back. <coughs> she isn't laughing. She said that with a straight face. Of course she did. We know. <laughs> you, you you can see that the archbishop, he's kind of his facial expression has gone from he was originally very upset at some of you because, you know, mine's kind of messed up. There's fiends everywhere, and he's just kind of thinking. That's a lot of things to fix. Yes, many things to fix. As Junior Inquisitor, I can offer you, however, the continued services of the Inquisition as you require. Well, I there do is have... There laws that are being broken here with my city, and that is a right, a wrong that needs to be righted. Right. It's such a shame what happened... With the lightning rail, isn't it? Uh, you mean the cars that derailed? No, I'm talking about that you all barely survived and the last cart destroyed the docks to the city. May I ask why this is significant at this junction? Oh, 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 he implying that a uh, terrible thing is going to happen to the docks. That's exciting. What are you going to do? Oh, dear. The last terrible thing that happened that we witnessed saw a decent chunk of the flame keep slums turn to dust. We got oh. a lot of zombies. Right. Um... If I may make a suggestion. Uh, the fiend knows we would tell you this, so he probably expects you to act something like that. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well what? Hmm. You all may leave. I'd avoid the docks if I were you. <laughs> yes, this seems prudent. Mark will nod and turn for the door. And Miss Scooter, if you do wish to reconsider at some point, I have a friend I'd love to introduce you to. Why is everyone introducing me to their friends? Because you're very friendly. Friend. <laughs> um, Con is just the looking around. Voice in the history of mankind, right there. <laughs> Connor, right, let just... me rephrase that. You're useful. What's, that? What's going on, Connor? Hey, Connor would just like to give the room a uh, you know, visual scan to see. <laughs> Of any um, open uh, doorways or anything that would possibly lead to underneath his um, chamber, or a perception. Oddly. Okay. <laughs> Oddly, don't see anything. A secret, a secret way out is a secret way in for somebody else. I'm guessing. You might have been, you, you think you might be able to find something if you like did a hard investigation, but a quick glance, even with that roll. Archbishop. I don't think, I don't think even I'd have a decent. Yes. I request, um, I'm trying to think 
what's the silver frame equivalent to um, absolution or confession? <laughs> For the misdeeds I've done, I must um, perform repentance. May I um, remain in prayer? Are you being honest with him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to ask that question. <laughs> All right. You... So, Connor did not want to leave that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll give you a chance to cleanse yourself. The rest of you may leave. My associate outside the door will reward you with a coffer. Well, not and... Uh, walk towards the door. I do not want a coffin, thank you, though. A coffin? Well, visibly face palm. <laughs> what? Uh, a coffin, coffin so as in a vessel for pain. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is much better than a coffin. <laughs> I thought that was failed threat. I was like, oh, very impressive. Very <laughs> I, like, I like your style. <laughs> I mean, I could go for a coffee. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office! <laughs> <laughs> you were scared. Oh, oh, clearly, <laughs> clearly, the arc, the uh, um um the archbishop is obviously a tea drinker. And because someone said in the chat, oh, I have to no. say it. Stay a while and listen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I must get the Herodric staff and beat Diablo's <laughs> ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, so, so you guys also, head out. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna say, the no, no way would the tea drinker be this fucking paranoid. <laughs> um. So uh, you four um, walk out, and there is one of the guys there with a the coffer. Um. It's it has enough in it for each of you. I mean, with Connor, if he was there, to each of you to get a thousand gold. Nice. Quite a bit. Yeah. Before they leave, where are we meeting up? <laughs> yeah, where, where, where are you guys going? Back at the end, but you know, no. I, I, I probably uh, not friendly territory. Uh, quartermaster's office. Let's go see Quartermaster Potato. Okay, that's fair. That's a safe spot. <laughs> sure. I mean, uh, potato safe. There wasn't there a place we went to get coffee when we were right for you. This guy is too. It's just uh, like half the silver flame in this area is going to be replaced by demon. No, if, it, <laughs> if I remember right, last time we kind of hung around outside and just waited for uh, Chris to turn up. All right. Oh yeah, we can just do that. That's fine. Just stay in the, in the courtyard. You guys are just staying out. Okay, you guys are staying out uh, after the teleportation or outside of the general. Uh, are you still inside the tower or the courtyard outside the teleportation? Let's circle? stay inside the tower. We'll we'll wait there. All right. The guy will guide you a little ways away, just so you're not right by the door because you know it's kind of improper, and you guys are going to be talking out there. Where Connor, um, the Archbishop guides you over to the all the shards. So, do you know what this is? Um, I don't know if Conway does. <laughs> I'm totally asking. Um, For I don't. <laughs> have, you heard, have you heard of scrying? It's a great way to get information. Yes. Yes, these crystals are set all around the city. Oh, oh yes, uh, yes, a bit. Well, <laughs> as a bit, I am well aware of the CCTs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But it's what is it? Hi, the... hi, highest, highest, po highest count of uh, CCTV cameras to population in Europe, possibly the world. I can't remember. Yeah, these are crystal. Uh, Big brother is what? <laughs> yes. Oh it's, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a way to keep things. Well, to keep me in the know of it. 
I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed, but I expected it of you, Mr. Connor. Because you're only half a man. I see. Yes, you've been infected. I was not aware that you were aware. It was easy to detect when you came in. My teleportation circle does more than just move people. Just like your friend Scooter has a demon following them around everywhere. I had suspected. But she seems trustworthy. Oh, yes. She's fine. She doesn't seem to mean anyone harm, so I'll leave that one be. So, you wish for absolution? I... In this current mission, I have been lacking in my duty when dealing with fiends. I, despite my condition, I am true to the faith and it is my intention to uphold my oath. I Good. did what I did purely to make sure people with the ability to deal with it in a more functional way would be able to. Well, that's good. So I'm going to offer you a way to prove to me your zeal is still intact. How does that sound to you? It sounds right. Good. It's very simple. All of these crystals around the entirety of Thaliost is attached with a spell. What do you think the spell does? Scry, I assume. That's part of it. Let me show you. He begins moving his hand in a very strange way as you see this out of the stone floor, this pedestal kind of pops up and opens up. And you see it's a map of Thaliost. And it is broken up into several sections. Each one has a small crystal above them. Ah, oh, you played The Sims. <laughs> uh, interesting. Yes, it is quite interesting. So then, you see this crystal here? This is by the docks where that warehouse is. Mm -hmm. Crush the crystal. Boom. It's very easy. <laughs> Just Forgive two me, fingers. Just... How many people are in the docks? Does it matter? You're a paladin of the Silver Flame. All whom are corrupted are forfeit. You know this. It doesn't matter how many have to be slaughtered, how many have to be killed. All of them should be purged before their soul is corrupted to the point where they go to hell. So, prove to me your seal. Out of character, you love destroying cities, don't you? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's give, give Daz some, some credit. He likes destroying parts of parts of cities. Favorites. <laughs> <laughs> No, he likes making us destroy these. <laughs> Good.
go on. Yeah. I mean, you could you could always just say that you'd like to have a you'd like to understand the the, the depth of the action you're about to take. Did it matter when the silver flame called the lycanthropes and shifters? They were slaughtered without even a question asked, even those who were infected who didn't know. Do you know our history? Yes, I also know that um, shifters were given absolution due to being found not to be corrupt. Some... I believe that was foolish. There were many that um, joined the faith in defeating the, the, the lichens. Correct. So, this must be a difficult choice for you. I... Are you a man or are you a beast? A beast would destroy without morality. But an intelligent man would destroy out of mercy. So show these people of the dark how merciful you are. I Even wish I had popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow can only be cast in light. It... The corruption can be purged. I am living proof that not all corruption is absolute damnation. I fight for our faith I I cannot kill innocence roll perception for me No, oh, you're way too distracted. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural one. Um, I mean, it's fun. fitting for the scene. <laughs> you're looking down, and you say that, and you hear a voice that's not the Archbishop's. Well said. You then hear this visceral sound come from the Archbishop as you see this Massive black greatsword pierced straight through his back, lifting him up about five feet in the air. You see this cat-like creature behind him, fur jet black. His hair is literally fire. Eyes are completely black. And the Archbishop's body falls to the ground. Just so Jolly gets everywhere. his way. <laughs> it's not Jolly. No, I said Jolly gets his way. Hey. <laughs> Just. Can Archbishop we make is... friends with this rock Sasha? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <Come> on. <laughs> I don't. This this one's this one's a little bit too stubby stubby. <laughs> so the Archbishop falls to the ground, unmoving. Gods! You call out, but there's no voice. There's a very um, strange... But... Uh, yes? Connor, I, I think if they're doing that, the guards are already, you know... We're not there. <laughs> we're not <laughs> there. Yeah. You call out, and no voice comes out. Um, you see the Rexasha has like a bit of a metal helmet on that leases his fiery hair. You see a almost like a scarf made purely of black dragon scales jutting up 
over and he's wearing full plate armor with bits and pieces out, a couple tassels, and his gigantic um, greatsword. Your conviction is pleasing to hear. I will allow you to speak, but I would rather have you not call the guards. How does that sound? Don't worry, we're not making an agreement. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Mordekesh. I'm the commander. So. <laughs> like, no, don't betray me now, Pad. <laughs> <laughs> you distracted him for quite some time. I am very happy that there are some who of your ilk don't want to kill innocents. Now then, I think we should clean up the mess. Also, we should really put the map away. I think the people of the city have suffered enough under this buffoon rise. Looking at the map, is there a crystal about the, uh, above the tower? No. <laughs> He's not that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we sure? <laughs> Are we sure? Just pluck the crystal out of the map, teleport out of the tower, and crush it with whoever's just trying to kill him. <laughs> he kind of motions over at the um, the pedestal, and it does, you know, go down. So. You wanted absolution, did you not? Not by your kind. First of all, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the werewolf as well. <laughs> I couldn't resist. No. Silver flame. <laughs> yeah. Look. You brought down a tyrant. Who is going to destroy the docks, which is the livelihood of this city, because of one person? Does that sound right to you? I... It's not wrong. I feel there's a gigantic butt in there somewhere. <laughs> no, she was in the He's other room. outside. <laughs> <laughs> Final sight, high five. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, then? He, so, he, yes. he had bad intentions, but I feel yours are more. Insidious. <sighs> yes. Sinister. Terrible. <laughs> he gets a bit of a he gets a bit of a smirk. Well, first you just met me, and what a meeting! Yes, I did your friend from behind. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs>
you see him just kind of just let business, go. Of, you know, <laughs> he lets go of his weapon and it just <laughs> disappears. Let me tell you this, for what it's worth, you have my word that the cities, that this city specifically, and the citizens will be well taken care of. No harm will come to them. Out of character. Who wants to try, try and start a war between uh, Thrain and Carnaf? Because <laughs> I don't trust <laughs> Thrain to retake this place. <laughs> you seem so conflicted, Mr. Connor. For what it's worth, I like you. <laughs> that just makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth it is taking every fibre of my being not to end my life by confronting you I wouldn't fight back it wouldn't be fair would it but the silver flame knows about unfair fights don't they but you refuse to do the unfair which makes you unique and sought after. So, let's take care of this first. He reaches down, takes some things from the Archbishop's body, and he draws an odd symbol on his chest, on the Archbishop's chest, and the body just starts to melt away in black fire. Is, is the opal still there? <laughs> No, it's broken. He didn't get a chance to... Well, he tried using it. <laughs> it didn't work too well. So... You're free to tell whoever you wish about this. I'm not going to force you like my associate did. Do I... Do I hear a tint of uh, disapproval there? <laughs> You do. I mean, but if you were there. <laughs> oh, obviously, obviously. <laughs> I don't enjoy forcing my will on people, unlike others of my kind. No, you just prefer to take him for behind. It is the easiest way to do it. Less complications down the road. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry, had to go there. <laughs> it's let's, all... let's drop the pretense a little bit. You and I have something very in common. We're both soldiers. And we've both been marred by our conflicts. Unfairly. I will not ask you to be a friend or an ally of mine. More so, I won't screw in your business and you won't screw in mine. How does that sound to you? I cannot just leave this. As you said, I'm... You will allow me free reign in telling people? Yes. I mean, it would cause a lot of problems if you ran around telling everyone what I did. There'd be mass panic. And you know the Silver Flame would come up north and begin slaughtering everyone. Though there is a second way we can handle this. And that is... Forgive me, if you remember. Could you roll a wisdom saving throw? What? 
Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Preemptive. I, yeah. I, I, was, I was afraid, and then I was like, oh, I'm actually proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have proficiency in that. <laughs> His eyes glaze over for a moment, and then they stop. <clears throat> well, that's never happened to me before. Hmm. So did the paladin <laughs> just go, uh, 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 didn't say the magic word. The paladin resisted modify memory. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do a guy from behind once and they have trouble getting it up again. <laughs> You're not really aware of, of what just conspired, but you saw his eyes and that's all you really noticed. Hmm. Well, yes, you're free to tell whom you wish, but remember, the current silver flame are going to raise the city to the ground if they find out. Perhaps you and Mr. Garrick can change their minds. I'd recommend telling him. Is your intention still to I indicate to, to the floor where I was feeling the presence of the what I assume is a kind of crystal <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right wasn't the commander the one imprisoned in the kind no there is no there this is the commander of the Rixoshan army um you guys oh, right. are aware from the roles you got before this is the guy who led the demon armies of the demon age 10 million years ago same guy yeah so i thought that was the guy that was stuck in the kyber crystal under this tower with one of the main guys under no that um, is the commander of the demon overlords there are two commanders uh, there's Rachtel a demon overlord yes Rachtel Kesh. Yes. And then Bel Belshalor is the one that's he inside the silver. Yep. It's Shadow Keep. Yep. <laughs> Not Shadow Keep. Flame Keep. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it would be Shadow Keep once <laughs> Belshalor gets out. But that's beyond the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little past the point in their return. <laughs> yeah, Rachtel, Rachtel Cash is the, is the Demon Lord boss guy that uh, uh, is bound by all the other little lesser demons. My intentions are as follows. I'm going to continue to do what I can to release my master, even if it takes another million years. It's a slow process. Currently, what I'm going to be doing is releasing the child from below. Even I have standards. Child? Yes, your friend the Archbishop made a child from a demon and a celestial being. I shall release it and allow it to wander as it sees fit as a free entity. Damn. <laughs> release the Antichrist. But for now, possibly he do? waves his hand, turning into the Archbishop. As for now... I believe we're done with what we're going to do. And you, Mr. Connor, through your zeal and ability to speak with me, you compassionately convinced the Archbishop not to level the dogs. I believe that's the narrative you should tell your friends. Or whatever you prefer. <laughs> just, just a suggestion. <laughs> I'll, I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, Mr. Connor. Good and if job you do, not saying yes to anything he said. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Connor, um, other than your camera being frozen, next time you see Jolly, slap him for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, the commander has a message for you. 
wow. <laughs> Freaking oh, Street great. Fighter. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. His camera is definitely definitely frozen. Uh, yeah. Total total lock up there. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey. I don't think he can hear us because he's not responding. I think his computer. Yeah. I think his computer might have locked up, or he's actually had a full-on crash. Oh, he's back. Oh, you. Oh, back? Oh, he's back. I, I, I could hear perfectly. No, we oh, couldn't okay. hear you though, unfortunately. All right. So, everything so, was fine to my sense. That the only thing that was was um, Twitch was buffering. That's you all. Know, I thought Hetty had a potato. I purposely <laughs> don't run Twitch because I know streaming out my camera is going to uh, cause a few too many issues. <laughs> like what I tell me, what I tell people very simply is, if you're in the stream with me, open it on your phone so you're not hurt killing your computer. Oh no, I'm oh, I'm more smart. I'm I'm more bandwidth. <laughs> All right, um, so uh, Connor, you're gonna head out yeah <laughs> perfect um the rest of you guys have been kind of standing out there you know giving up the gold each of you are getting a thousand and you guys are kind of waiting on connor to come out um if unless there's anything specific you want to do we can go ahead and uh fast forward to him popping out i, I assume there's nothing specific you guys are looking to do while you're waiting i think they need to make a dexterity check don't they <laughs> what no <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, a few minutes go by, um, and the door opens, and Connor walks out. He oh, is led Connor. over. He is led over to you guys by one of the um, black hooded figures. Can I uh, roll something to figure out if that was a bit quick? <laughs> um, you could do a general insight. Uh, insight, insight, insight. That one. Oh, hang on. Is it insight? Wisdom. No, you have investigation. That's your special thing is investigation. Um, no, the, it does too. Um, roll that insight. Which it's one are you? The... Detection. Okay. Yeah, with some insight and um, investigation. Sixteen. Oh, it, it adds it anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, took a reasonable amount of time. It took as much time as it took. Um, maybe it took a little bit longer than you were used to, but you're not really super religious, so you don't know how. You don't know if there's some sort of ritual to um do it. So it took a time, but he's back. Um. He you might may, not, he, very pale. <laughs> yeah, very pale. Um, even for Connor. I mean that that, um, that that would that would sound about right for a uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> confession. <laughs> yep. So uh, give me a second here. So uh, since you guys all meet up um, as you guys are heading to the teleporter, um, we can go ahead and take a break and come back um, like five minutes after the hour. Yeah, that's all right. Works for me. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Me. Perfect. And we'll take yeah. a brace then. Yeah, back. Sounds like time for a kettle. Sounds good. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. A Fiora, you're a beauty. So it's time for me to give away a code. So if you would like to join me tomorrow for Vermintide playing the Chaos Waste DLC that does not actually release for three more days. Uh, type Vermintide in the chat right now. I'll type it for you so you can see it. Uh, you do have to play with me tomorrow. That is a requirement. And we're going to be playing at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, but uh, if you type that in the chat, you automatically, you'll be entered for the drawing. And I will announce the winner at the end of our intermission. Perfect. And we are now hidden in...
Yes, it is. Oh, gee, yes, it, it is. is. Yeah. It is. That's so, where I got it I was it trying from. to place it. I knew it. Uh, All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So first I have to give away the thing. Uh, I'm gonna yep, you made the thing. Names. All right, so names are entered in the system. One, two, three. All right. What? Uh, going to enter the name, random number generator. Uh, Razzle is one. Azrael is two. Uh, Hitomi is three. Stargazer is four. Uh, Jane Dirty Hippie is five. Um, and uh, Brett is six. So here we go. Four. Who did I say it was four? One, two, three, Stargazer. All right, I'm going to message you on Twitch real quick. We have one more key to give away. We'll give it away at the end of the stream, so please do stick around. Congratulations, Stargazer. I will see you tomorrow at yeah. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I need you to get this installed tonight, though. Huzzah. Anyway, I turn it back over to uh, to, to the Dazzle. Dazzle us, Dazzle. Hey. Hi. I'm trying to. <laughs> All right. We are now uh, back from our break. Um Connor witnessed the emergence of Mordekesh, the commander of the um, Rexoshan army. Um, literally take the Archbishop from behind. And after a bit of a conversation, he is now meeting back with his companions um, who still have to give him the thousand gold that he is owed. Um, and that's where we're going to pop in. I will just say one thing. With all his plate mail and stuff, at least he used protection. It's true. Paladins go with protection. Anyways. Connor. You, now Mark is looking at you, and Mark, you see that he is a bit pale. And there is one of the black cloaked figures that is motioning for you to follow toward the teleportation gate. Are you okay there, Connor? In a minute. At least he looks alive. <clears throat> That's good. My mouth, uh, not here. <laughs> not here. <laughs> not here. Not in town. <laughs> All right. So I assume you guys head over to the teleportation gate. The black cloaked figure um, motions you to pop in, and he begins to walk away. He Chris waves goodbye. Goodbye, whichever number you are. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he kind of stops and looks back at you, and he speaks in draconic. Same <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's drawn the short straw forever, as he... <laughs> number three! Yeah. It is good yep. to see you. It's good to see me, too. <laughs> we're, all there. we're all there right when connor comes back yep and you guys yep. are walked over to the teleportation area and you guys are in the a large like alcove type room um for teleportation Ooh, connor before before we forget and mark will hand over connor's thousand did we have any of the quartermaster tokens as well with that? Nope. So, um, Mark will uh, gesture to the teleporter and step through himself before he can embarrass himself with Scooter again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you all, you guys all heading out? Yeah, you guys will jump through. Perfect. All right. Lack you guys football. you guys are outside the mansion at the bottom. Um, you hear the gate open as the guard kind of looks over, and he just kind of motions you guys to pop in, to pop out of the uh, <laughs> gated area. As, as he walks out, Mark will turn to the guard. Is there anywhere around here that's good for a quiet drink? Oh. Ooh, you want to find a bar? Yeah, the Silver Cheetah Inn. That's really good not drink. the 
That's not the Silver Cheetah in. <laughs> yeah, there's one more. It's not the best, but uh, yeah. You go if you go to far north side of town. There's this uh, all natural place. A druid runs it. All natural? Yeah, alcohol without the stuff i don't know i don't drink there prices are pretty cheap though they would be if it's not alcoholic <laughs> yeah but the proprietor she's a weird druid a weird druid yeah Aren't most of them like that they transform yeah but this one stays like a horse but talks i I, I think if, if I could turn into any animal, I would stay that way just to mess with people. Yeah, sure. All right, you guys have fun. So this is Scooter's kind of place. Uh, are we gonna let's go there and talk and work out our next move? I have, <laughs> I have, I have, I have one important move. question. I have one important yeah. question. Yeah. What size of horse? <laughs> would you describe variety. it as little, perhaps? Sure, it's pretty magical, too. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> Big friends. The crossover begins. <laughs> um, yeah. Connor will just go to the guard and ask, is there a, an outpost of House Civis anywhere? Oh, uh, well, mm, I think so. It's not very big around here, though. Carneth wasn't big on that, so. Eh. Just some way I can communicate. Oh, you're just looking to send like a letter or something? Expediently. Oh, post office. Yeah, if you give it to me, I I could send it out. It's not too bad. It's I crossed by the couriers. I'm oh. Well, you guys kind of broke our uh, normal fast way of doing it. That wasn't us. Sure, we just uh, survived the accident. The other we just only real out the wreckage. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a courier service. Uh. Is it cross continental? Where, where is it going to? Flame keep. Oh, yeah, that's easy. We send stuff there all the time. Uh, yeah, just go. Uh, it's near the docks. Um, there they have a service over there. They send uh flying creatures. Just whoosh. yeah, like that, but more like a swoosh. I, I don't know. I see. I do not see. All right. Have fun. Thank you it's very hard, much. <laughs> it's, it's hard to miss. The building has a big bird on it. Oh, that that is that is hard to miss. Yeah. <laughs> Look, looks at the big bird that's stood next to us. Our big bird is also hard to miss. All right, that's so where are you guys the heading? Cobalt on the um, head. Connor is looking for an alley. He's heading straight to it, and he is vomiting again, and he's going at it for a while. <laughs> Mary Sides again. <laughs> you just pats him on the back again. There you go, big guy. Let it all out. Better out uh, than Normally, him. people throw up after having the drink. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just I mean, this is taking preloading to another level. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have problems. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. <laughs> okay. You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> what new problems? We need uh, may, 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 may I suggest? I mean, the reason I asked about a place to go and have a drink was so we've got somewhere to sit down and talk in private. Um, there's that, but also. Looking around, we're not under a gem here. Gem? 
the Archbishop watches all except here. Okay. Okay. Good to know. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, there are you, no watching. There are no watching, Jim. You saw. You saw the wall of scrying crystals. <laughs> yes, there is. There is none just around around the Tower of Judgment. So cur- currently, you are yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> but just in case, I get a piece of paper out and write. Archbishop killed by um, Jolly's boss. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone could read it except for Ucharis. I, I go. I go. Do we'll, I, we'll we'll bend I, I down. I and... my head and I go. Do I need to eat this one too? We'll 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 bend uh, down and whis- whisper into Ucharis's ear uh, what uh, what Connor just wrote on the piece of paper. Now, if I were more committed to my craft, I would have done a spit take with my soda right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, awesome. you guys are now all aware that, um, aka um, Jolly's boss, has killed the Archbishop. Okay, so Mordecash. I am Mordecash. willing to um, to put money on gambling that. Archbishop is now Jolly, and Jolly is now Archbishop. Also, how did you get out of there? Guys, one at a time. Give Connor a minute. He's not exactly in a great shape. <laughs> uh, uh, of course. Uh, Mary starts fiddling with his uh, pack while Scooter talks. It's a mix of knowing that I wouldn't be able to do anything to stop him and trusting that because of my proclivities, nobody will believe me. Huh. But well, if we believe you. To me, and I am the junior inquisitor. That's weird. That's why I asked um, to get in contact with House Civis. I need to contact Garrick. You guys begin well, hearing some shouting coming from the main, one of the main streets. Oh dear! We'll it's, peer it's out of the we'll peer out of the alley towards the direction of shouting. You see a courier holding um, a scroll. This just in: prisoners released from all. Of hmm, the hmm. he's just kind of reading it like what? <laughs> Archbishop to re- to release all prisoners, full pardons. Archbishop to release all prisoners, full pardons. And he starts wandering, that rocking down the street, shouting this out as as the crowd's just like getting put a bit of a commotion. They're just like what? Okay, I was wrong. That could have been a lot worse. I think that's going to attract my boss's attention very quickly. Fair point. Yes. This is... Oh, oh speaking of tricks. He digs out a small vial from his uh, pack, taps it twice with his wand, and gives it to uh, Connor. Drink this. It'll make you feel better. Is it garlic strawberry? <laughs> I was tempted with no... <laughs> <laughs> next week's flavor <laughs> drink it <laughs> alright let's get some city music city sound effects going <laughs> so what exactly did you give him <laughs> uh, press, pre, press the digitated water it tastes like coca cola nice. <laughs> wait how do we know what coca cola tastes like <laughs> Because Mary's family invented it. <laughs> yep. And, and it, it's original Coca-Cola with pure coca. <laughs> yes. Oh, so it's actually got cocaine in it. Cool. Root beer with actual roots. You know, we're, we're going hardcore with this. <laughs> uh, 
Although technically Pepsi would have been more appropriate <laughs> because that's for it was that's for stomach upsets. So uh you guys heading uh to the docks to get the thing shipped out first before you go to the inn or, or sorry, not the inn, the uh tavern, or what are you guys doing? I guess uh, yeah, first. it sounds like the docks first. Okay. Um, there's a lot of commotion as you guys are going over there. Um, you're already seeing um, some people that are dressed in what looks like uh, tattered robes, and they look like they're pretty roughed up, all getting released. And you see the streets very people. You see the general atmosphere seems to be a bit uh, more positive as seemingly all these different prisoners are getting released out and they're going back to their families. People are... Very confused, to put it lightly. Euchris, Euchris has a smile on his face. He says, well, this isn't exactly how I wanted to do accomplish this, but uh, it has been accomplished. Yes, uh, though... Are some of them genuine criminals we should be afraid of? I'm more That's concerned of the long-term price that this is going to... Yes, the... Archbishop is now gathering goodwill, which will aid him when the silver flame comes down. Ah. Well, we weren't planning to stay here for much longer. But... <laughs> I mean, uh, Mark just puts a hold up a finger, and how do we plan on getting out of the city? The lightning rail is still a wrecked mess at the end of the lo- end of the line. Um, we can walk. Yeah, that's always an option. (laughs) Props to the face of that. I I, I carry you small. (laughs) Okay. So, (laughs) as as you guys are walking your way around the dock, you're trying to figure out, you're looking for a building with a bird. You eventually see this building with a character that kind of looks like Scuda, but the uh, feathers are bright red, and it literally is called Phoenix Wright, as in Wright, as in the W-R-I-T-E, and it just has the character of a bird using their feathered hands with a thumbs up. Now just hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to have to take that. (laughs) (laughs) There are some people that are coming and going from the place, and you are noticing every person who leaves is doing this with their ear, with with their hand on their ear, as if they're just like, oh, all of them as they leave. I'll kind of scoot out any... uh, Get the attention of one of them. Uh, What's going off in there nothing bye oh (laughs) and they just walk past are they holding both airs or just one some are doing one some are doing two um okay that's odd i think we need mark will mark will see if he can hear what's causing the problem Hmm. sure roll perception Uh, just some talking going on in there. One of the voices seems a little weird. Do I notice anything about the voice? It's annoying. <clears throat> and loud. Loud. Can we see into the building at all? Is there like a long oh, yeah. queue or open, anything? Open glass, like, you can see in. You see a very vibrantly red and yellow colored bird character. Um, big grin on their on their face, like it looks like their beak is permanently smiling. A little bit of a belly on them. Um, they're wearing just like a, a plain leather vest, and they have a myriad of what looks like very tiny mixes of what looks like quails and peacocks with massive wings. And they tie the um, it looks like they're tying with little scrolls to the to the little legs, and they just off. It's like a carrier pigeon, but little weird right, birds. Uh... Yep. Is, is it? Is there like a long queue in there? Nope. 
Oh no, no one wants to stay in here for, us, for any longer than they have to. <laughs> <laughs> so, Scooter, Scooter, this looks like a land runner, like you, but they're a bit more plump. Scooter, it is one of your one of your family. No, no. We, Face palms hard. We that. might be about to have very big fight. Oh, clan rivalry? I've read about that. More like permanent religious disagreement. Have you been listening yeah. to what's happening the, the last few days? Yeah, I know. You're Welcome to the club. Club. <laughs> It is perfect for this city. <laughs> Welcome to Thrain. <laughs> they, uh, so, okay, let's, so let's, let's just walk past it then. The red, color, the red colored ones have different demon daddies to you. They don't have the um. Uh, the, he has wings. His his arms are wings. Yeah. So he has a um. Okay. Um. So I am related, kinda, to uh, uh, Aerochakra. I think is what they call from yes. Elemental yes. Plane of Air. But I'm not allowed to fly because. Big screw up, and air deity no like us anymore, so they kick us out. He still think he can get the air deity to like him again. I don't, and don't care that the air that air plane ruler hates me. Well, I'll okay. uh, I'll stay Let's up just here and happen. keep you company. I'll keep you company then, Scoots. A while. As you guys are in. talking. As you guys are talking, the bird kind of walks to the front door and looks at all of you, slaps her hands together. Hello, how are you? How are you today? I suddenly understand why everyone was clutching their ears. So Props. many people here. I love it. Props. Yes. Can you hurry up and invent the shotgun? <laughs> the yeah. what gun? Uh, hello. Hello, Bird person. how are you? <laughs> Hello, Jasper Pie. I'm very <laughs> I would love a pie. Uh, I I vote I vote Connor and you, Chris, go and say hi to the bird and do what Connor needs to do. <laughs> yeah, Connor, let's let's go. Uh, before religious disagreement happens. Oh, yeah. what kind of religion well, are you? Oh, I like dragons. <laughs> All of them. I Just love kidding. dragons. They fly everywhere. Hello, bird friend. How are you? <laughs> There's no escaping this, is there? No! <laughs> We're not friends. Okay. No. Hello, bird enemy. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was worried for a second, but now I think I like this end. <laughs> Sorry, it was a turn of phrase. Oh, Chris, get business done. I don't want to ring uh, that. Connor, please. Oh, <laughs> business. I love business. Who Connor. wants to do stuff? Hey, Scooter, Connor. let's let us let us let us go and have a look at this building over here. <laughs> Scooter goes to have a look at building. Scooter starts smashing building wall. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, property damage. damage. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. That's why they have the rotten fish. <laughs> Reagan smash. Reagan smash. Reagan smash. <laughs> so then, who has business with me? Oh, my oh, associate, my Connor. My... Connor, please. Hi, Mr. Connor. How are you? He gets right in your face. Or she gets right in your face. <sighs> uh, yes, I, I need to send some urgent messages to Flamekeep. How many? Three. Okay. <laughs> I need them there as fast as possible. Okay. Do you have the letters? <laughs> Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. 
<laughs> I go write um, three uh, identical letters explaining the situation. One to address to Garrick, one addressed to Commander Carr, and one addressed to Elwyn. Okay. Uh, I hand it to the thing. 60! Thank you! Um, I request that you do not send them all at once. Could you stagger the sending? Well, there's three different birds that I'll be using, so of course! Silly! They don't have three legs! I mean, like, an hour between them. Oh! That'll be extra! <laughs> very well. Bird is very astute business bird. Of course <laughs> I am! I've been running this for 40 years! 40 years? Yes! Wow. Hmm. Old bird. <laughs> Do you train these birds yourself? No. You don't train these birds yourself? Nope. The oh. druid does. The druid? Uh, does the druid run the bar to the north? Yes. We're great oh. friends. She loves my voice. Oh, dear. All right. One quick amendment before I hand them over. Just quick divine sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good... Not, you're not really picking up any fiendish or celestial or anything. It's the bird. Okay. Just bird. Yeah. You can feel just an ang a, you can feel something really angry over next to Scooter though. <laughs> <laughs> just because he can, Mary is going to summon Frank and just have him perch on his shoulder. Oh my goodness, it's a little bird. <laughs> so it is. Alright. Fifty gold, please. And, uh, Thank you. Uh, are we done? Do you need anything else, Connor, that we can uh, send along? Uh, any other messages? Um, maybe we should. Are you able to send a message to the Inquisitor? He doesn't have a house. Are you able to send a message to, to Say Largo? Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. This bag of hot for five cost? dollars. Hold. Spreading the love on this later? Friday. Have a great <laughs> yes. weekend. Okay. Five gold. Yeah, I'm sure my parents know some fine. Thank oh, you, anyway. you have parents. Lucky you. I am not touching that. <laughs> 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 ooh, ooh, you Chris will touch it. You don't have any parents. I don't have any either. <laughs> nope. My parents were burned alive by a dragon. Oh, they deserve it. <laughs> that I know. They're terrible. <laughs> Kind of, I just look at Rox's she, frozen face and like, shit, how do I respond to that? She, 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 <laughs> Mary is going to away with that. Uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> she she leans over and responds to Scooter. I know, they were just terrible. <laughs> well, it sounds like you and Scooter might be good friends too. Someday, hopefully. No, maybe. Well, no, as Scoot, Scooter, good name. Um, As she said, we are enemies. <laughs> Maybe you will be frenemies. Those are like enemies, but also friends. That's such a fun word. Thank you so much. Anyways, I'm going to send this stuff out. If you have any other questions, I'm here all day. I'm sure you are. Goodbye. Yeah. Guys, what is your name? Wait, wait, wait. Down the alley. <laughs> what is your name? I did not. I did not catch it. I apologize. What, what is your name? Tiki. Gazuntai. Tiki. Thank you. <laughs> Is that T I K I or T I K K I? T I K K I. Yes. Tiki. I love her. Okay. Um, anyway. And just just to think, Connor, you could have exploded this one. <laughs> you know. You know, it's looking better and better all the time, isn't it? <laughs> you had us. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been spared this. This is on you, Connor. It's on your conscience. <laughs> No, but for real, Tiki's great. Um, uh, uh, Uchris says, Tiki, it was nice meeting you. I am Uchris, and uh, hopefully that uh, I will maybe use your services someday, perhaps soon. <laughs> okay, have fun, small newt. 
Bye bye. <laughs> You just goes out racially and sensitive. <laughs> so, Scooter, you've damaged the side of that building pretty harshly. <laughs> yeah, mine really. I think he's also sense. damaged a few of Scooter's brain cells. <laughs> Scooter looks at him, Chris. Can we go now? I don't see why not. To the bar! I think Scooter needs a drink. Okay. Mark needs a drink. Drink. Sco Scooter just needs to unload. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe she can start a bar fight. As much as I sometimes would like to indulge in this thing called alcohol, alcohol is lethal to avian birds. Well, good Scooter thing looks at herself. I definitely fall into category of death by a booze. Let's just see if this druid's got anything that's drinkable. Well, how about this? Next time you visit Tiki, uh, bring a bottle of wine for human. That's a sign of friendship. <laughs> All right. So, you guys uh, now understand why everyone walking out of that area were shielding one of their ears. Because that Tiki is very great at you know causing tinnitus, so um, um, as you guys but... are venturing north, uh, there's more and more people that seem to be almost celebrating the fact that um, this sudden change from the Archbishop um, Connor, you actually have one or two people look at you and walk up to you, um, mm -hmm. wanting to shake your hand. Uh, uh, are you Mr. Connor? Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, we understand that um, from the courier, you talked the Archbishop into releasing the prisoners. Thank you. It's very kind of you. I'll leave you alone. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. And they <laughs> turn and leave. Got any more of that water? <laughs> I think you need alcohol. alcohol. After a while, making your way north, um, these this side of the city seems more a lot more greener and a lot more natural. Um, it takes a minute to figure out exactly what the houses look like because they are all naturally made houses, as it looks like the druidic presence in this part of the city um, are naturally growing houses, I guess is the best way to put it. They're manipulating the vines and the trees to be able to bow over and make some pretty nice hovels for people. Um, they're very simplistic. You do eventually find this, what looks like almost like it comes out of like a big like a Banjo-Kazooie game or something where there's like a massive pond with large lilies and each lily Gigantic lily pads about 15 feet in diameter has like tables on them, it's like an open bar. Um, there is a uh, in the center of this um, pool like area is a raised piece of grass and leaves that shows what looks like it's a bar table. And you do, in fact, see a horse with like an outfit on, it's a kind of full sized horse with an outfit on, just kind of. There behind the counter. There's several people there. There are a couple sh sh couple shifters here. Um, one or two animals that are just kind of um, drinking. Give, very given, the given the community we're part of, what color is the horse? <laughs> <sighs> They're all... They're all dice. I'll get you a color wheel. <laughs> oh really? I would love to do that. Gimme. I mean if it's secretly evil, can we please go with black and red? Here. There you go. Have a color have a spinning color wheel. Oh nice. Nice. Just click the black spin button in the middle. 
light green. Yeah, mine too. What are the odds? Light green, light green. huh? Like lime green almost? Would you say that this horse also happens to have, you know, I don't know, orange and white? And Jesus green. Christ! Oh. <laughs> I just realized the point it's of the green. I just realized the, the, the green. Let's just continue. Anyways. <laughs> get out of the black <laughs> <zone>. <laughs> Oh. She's just gone. <laughs> He's just leaving. Oh yeah, no, there she is. I didn't even expect this to happen. I was I was trying to be funny with a druid. I was trying to be funny with a druid. Oh, okay. Now we have a goddamn pony in here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a so, talking green I'm not even, pony. I'm not even <laughs> mad. I'm just like disappointed. No. <laughs> it's just a non it's just a non pwn obviously. Yep. You know, <laughs> green, black, black mane. <laughs> Question mark for a cutie mark. Nobody knows who a non pony Just we're remember, not, not... just remember, green is not a creative color. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Anyways, so, uh, yeah, you're there. Um, you can hear the water. It's it's a very calming place, honestly. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a large area that you can get um, any type of drink you would like. Um, who's going to approach? There's no name to this bar, by the way. Ooh, ooh, me. I go first? Oh, one hundred percent. Oh, okay. You Chris goes first. I'm, I'm gonna walk up as well. So, so it's a horse with a bow with no name. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Could yep. it be the horse and groom or some other generic British pub name? <laughs> no, it's the it's it's. So you're going up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you Chris and Mary and Mark are all. Straying up at once to the bar. Everybody leans on it. Except for you, Chris. You, Chris, peeks. Does the bar just kind of re shift <laughs> and regrow into a, a lower step? Than, well, you all notice, <laughs> when you come to the bar, you see the wood itself just kind of uh, come from in front of the bar. And where you didn't see anything before, um, you see these wooden stools just kind of apparate and kind of pop up out of the ground as if it's being shaped just for you guys to sit down. That's rad. I love druids. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> and the horse is looking at all of you, kind of looking down. It's a normal-sized horse. So... Oh, it was a um, pony. Okay. It's half and half. Um, so, yes? How can I help you? Uh, we are here for, for drinks. I am you, Chris, and these are my companions, uh, Mary and Mark. And Connor is back behind us, but he should join us because he really... Connor! Connor, 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 Connor. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> question would be, what would you like to drink? We have various things, some natural, some not. Uh, something strong for me and Connor, I think. What's strong as in natural. Well, <clears throat> strong as in a sleep aid, or strong as in you don't want to remember anything for the day. S strong enough that we can process what the hell just happened. First of all, language. Sorry. <laughs> Second of all, um, <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> we offer various types of beverages, some alcoholic, some not. The un unalcoholic ones, some um, are different types of fruits and vegetables. Um, as far as strong drinks, we have um, this one called Dragon Root. It's a bit um, barbarish. I would um, like some of that, please. <laughs> of course. Of course the cobalt was. <laughs> the Dragon Simp. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's one dragon root. Um, yes. Let's see here. We have... Um, well... Mm, Do you have question. apple juice? Yes, we have apple juice. I have a question first, or before we continue. Are any of you allergic to canines? Canines? Yes. Is this a uh, hair of the dog no, joke? No, no. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, you, I was yes. going to do hair of the dog. <laughs> Let's Dang go. It. 
Uh, <laughs> me and Kung, same wavelength there. <laughs> Let's save that until last. I assume Sidney will be fine. Um, yes, we have a couple things here that one can be allergic to. Hair the dog is one of our more popular ones. Um, we have another that... Um, at, at mention of Hair of the Dog, Mark will kind of look back at Connor, kind of scrunch his face and go, no, it sounds like a terrible idea. Well, if you're looking for something ex if you're looking for something experimental, we have um Trice um brandy. Okay, and what's experimental about Ooh, it? I like experimenting with drinks. It's made from cockatrice feathers. Oh, that's a stiff drink. Does, does, <laughs> does it cause one to become stoned? Ah, I was oh. just going to say it. I was just going to say it. Nice, nice. <laughs> and suddenly oh, that's the right choices. <laughs> a little bit, yes. Nice. It's a very interesting experience. It's one of my favorites. Uh, also, um... Mr. Ukris, you said? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not get your name. Also, what is your name? Crap. I, one second. <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> ah, crapper, one second. <laughs> ah, yes. Of the I had the, one I, seconds. Of the I New Hampshire one seconds. I had the wrong uh, thing opened. Oh. Had the wrong notepad open. I'm sorry. Yeah, Moon. Unlike you, he names all his NPCs. I'm gonna get shot for that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck in your next session, there, Fee. <laughs> oh come on, props. You know, f you, you you know full well Dead Tree Protocol was your funnest chapter because none of it was was from the table. It was great. <clears throat> I had fun. Sorry. My name is Terran. T E R R A N? Yes, Terran Olivia Axfield. No, there's no Davgim or Honk at the end of that, yes. If I'm a duck, yes. Honk, honk. <laughs> He just died a little on that one. Go. <laughs> just That's a horse, mechanic. not a goose. Anyways, I was going to ask you, um, Mr. Kriz, um, if you're going to be drinking this drink, could you sit on the end and face the water, please? <laughs> yes, why? <laughs> because she I... wants you to direct the fire breath somewhere <clears throat> safe. Correct. Uh, Mary very much moves away from you, Chris, at that. <laughs> Fire breath? Yes. <laughs> so, um, a, a moment, please. Can we live here? Of course. <laughs> I like this too. Very close. We are moving the tea house, everybody. The tea house is moving. So you see them um, quite deftly, um, even with hooves, kind of pull up a drink, uh, like a little shot glass, and you see the vines are mixing the, the little drinks together, like let's see four or five, and just like as it's posi as they're positioning the drink. <clears throat> the drink you get, the way the different color, you ever seen those like sand designs where people get those little bottles and they put them in different colors to make a design? They do that with this type of drink because the different types of uh, colored drinks have like a, a weird uh, different type of fluidity. They give you the shot glass, and when you look into it, it looks like a dragon's eye. Ooh, nice. Impressive. Um, but yeah, Mark Ma Ma will pumps for one of the cockatrice whiskies. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, Mary might as well go for that as well. Okay. Is it, just a, is it a single shot, the, uh, the yes. dragon's drink? Single <laughs> shot. So you could just holding it like this, then. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as far as when you guys order the cockatrice uh, or the trice brandy, um, you hear a <laughs> sound from the back <laughs> as <laughs> these two feathers are pulled out of 
a creature that is in the back in a little hut. And um, they are seemingly the, the feathers seemingly liquefied and mashed up into like a very, very like half shot. And you both are given them. Connor, do you want anything? <sighs> Have you got anything calming? <laughs> calming? Yes, of course. Um, sleep aid? Um, maybe if we're staying here. Um, just, no, just something to calm my nerves at the moment. All right, w- one moment, please. Reaches back, and you see they get like a decently sized cup. And without even touching it, it starts to like swirl blue. Almost like a weird, like, at that tip between liquid and solid, or sorry, liquid and uh, vapor, and they hand it to you. It's like swirling. It's very strange. Scooter, did you want anything to drink? Um, Scooter would like hummingbird feed, bird seed, almonds, <laughs> and a can of worms. Easily done for you, my avian friend. Of course she does, because she's friends with T. <laughs> yep. She will basically get out a large bowl of uh, various nuts and everything you could find, and quite literally a cup full of worms. Oh, that's <laughs> specific. I mean, Tiki does eat here very often. <laughs> since, so, they're, since they're friends and all. Yep. So uh, we'll start with. Uh, oh, is prop still there? Nope. Okay. Nope, nope. But I guess we will start with uh, the other two, uh, Mark and uh, Mary. You both are going to take your your thrice brandy shot. We'll smell it first, and then down it. I mean, have you ever smelled a feather? Okay. I hope this tastes better than it smells. <laughs> 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 All right. So you both take a take a quick chug. Just uh, I'd like you both to make Constitution saving throws. <laughs> oh, my specialty. Fifteen, not bad. Come on. Oh, that, at least it wasn't enough one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Mark, what you feel and what you guys see when you see him, Mark, drink it is. It's like a weird ripple go across his entire body and the ripple is a petrification. But it's like for just like a fifth of a second it's like and it hits you like it hits you really hard, Mark. Um, When you drink it you basically, you feel like your skin like, like from like your mouth just all over your body, instant petrification and then it goes and then it goes away. Mary, your whole body just <laughs> for like for like twenty seconds, and then you start moving again. <laughs> um, Whoa. Okay, the wizard stays away so... from anything like that again. <laughs> uh, Ukris, are you ready for your drink? Yes. Okay. Take your drink. Please make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> eight eight <laughs> roll d10 for me <laughs> nine okay you drink it feels really tingly and you feel something well up in your stomach as you open your mouth and a bolt of lightning just all over the water. Actually, excuse me. Yes. Oh no. I just, uh, you know, (laughs) Woo! if you get get used, if you get used to that drink, what happens is you can choose the type of breath. I would like another. 
I was just thinking, could we have a couple of those to go? They could come in handy if we get into a fight. Um, no. Oh, my drinks shall not be so. used for combat. <laughs> they are, my drinks are not used for combat purposes and harming others. Mine are for imbibing and um, entertainment purposes. Or being weird. Yeah, Mark will hold up a finger towards the druid, turn towards Mary, and slap him upside the head for suggesting it. <laughs> oh, Excuse well, well, me. Uh, no violence. violence. My, apologies, my apologies for bringing violence to your bar, but my associate requires assistance with common sense. What? Mm. I'm the most common of us all. Anyways, let's go to the next one. Uh, Connor, you didn't take a drink of your drink? Yep. All right. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. 13. Okay. For the next 10 minutes, you are able to levitate. And you have advantage on wisdom saving throws. <laughs> what you're saying is that is that Mary try one of those. What you're saying is that Mary's drink got him stoned, and this drink got Connor high. I'm trying to be yes. subtle. <laughs> I'm trying to be subtle. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, Scooter, uh, you can tell that the particulars of the um, nuts and the seeds that you have they're very fresh. This makes Scooter very happy. She was expecting like salted, roasted things that have been here for a week. Nope. This is a you druid. Can... This is a yep. druid's establishment. They probably <laughs> literally just fell off of the branch. <laughs> Over yeah. that, they're uh, very good. I'm glad all of you are enjoying your drinks so much. It makes me happy. So you all need to. You wanted to stay here forever. Is that what I've heard? That's a bit expensive. Uh, no. Oh, I must have missed her. Oh, uh, I if, mean, uh, <laughs> I'm enthusiastic. You'll have to excuse me. We will if you may be returning here. Yes. If you wish for rooms, I can assist. You know, well, that's not a bad idea. We wanted possible. to talk in private. Oh, if you wish to talk in private here, yeah, I can arrange. Oh. That well, you works. see the, the, hooves, the hooves come up and just go... <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly what it's I meant. It's difficult to do my job. Uh, Mary oh, will uh, so create a mind illusion sign again that say, says not what I meant. No, I'm sorry. Uh, how 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 much for? Let's be let's be generous. Let's say how much for a room for a day, just so we can properly compensate you while we uh, spend time discussing what we need to discuss. One gold and a compliment. I really Takes like out a gold. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Mark. No, it. Connor, Connor was said something. I said, I really like your mane. Oh, well, thank you. That's so nice of you. Perfect. Did you just say Mark, will, Mark, Mark will slide across the, uh, the the gold and say, "And thank you, thank you for the very interesting drink." No, the first one's always free. Hmm. Thank you. And how much for another shot of that drink? One gold. It's very easy. Just one gold. Well. Chris. We'll slide across a second gold piece. You Chris takes like a stack of like twenty gold coins, like all that he can hold in his two <laughs> <laughs> under the table, and he says, "I would like to try more of the dragon breaths, please." Kudo <laughs> reaches um, up and pulls nineteen gold pieces back and looks at Ukris. We don't want death by alcohol poisoning. Oh, it's it's or not. By... Well, it's, not it's not alcoholic, actually. 
I'm Phil, I think uh, you, Chris, I think he has, a, he has a thousand goals. Maybe he puts okay. nineteen. I think, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think I think how Cobalt's friend's enthusiasm okay. exceeds okay. his control. Um, <laughs> a, a quick question. Um, yes? How, how do I get down? <laughs> oh, it's easy. You just think you just float down. No, no, that's not how it works. He's going to be about five inches off the ground for the next ten minutes. Um, Actually, a li- little Cobalt, I believe I can assist you as long as you promise me you're not going to use this to harm anyone. I would never intentionally harm someone with this. All right. Um, It has a shelf life of about three days. Anything beyond that, it'll explode. So, one second. <laughs> she gets so out So what this... you're saying <laughs> is that I need to drink all of it within three days. Yes. Uh, she gets out this very like small, this. like, ke- it's like a, like a mini keg, like this, like this, this size, with like a little stop on it where you can pour it looks like it's good for like maybe five shots. She just gave me a growler. Yeah, literally. <laughs> there you go. All right. That's good. All right. Yukri takes his tiny keg and he's like cradling it. He goes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Please, Thank please you. Can, and please, can our room have a window pointing towards the water so we can aim the cobalt at it? Of course. <laughs> um,. Uh, let's see. A uh, temporary stay for a day. Da, 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 da. Um, all right. You see the hooves kind of move in a fashion, uh, like arcane uh, glyphs are appearing, and you see about a little bit off the distance, there's like this flat plains, this area where there's nothing there. You see uh, roots and vines begin to just pop out and shift into what looks like a nicely sized medium, I'd say about it's about 50 feet in diameter wide, about seven, eight feet tall. Um, little house um, has like a large um, arced door, two windows. And you see like one window is a little bit shorter, almost cobalt size. And <laughs> a water starts to kind of appear <laughs> next to it. <laughs> and you see like little from where you're sitting, because you have to walk across the pond. You see like little, little like... Um, Little pieces of like lily pads just go, and it gives you a straight walk over to the hovel. It's in an area that is uh, very silent and away from everyone else. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll turn towards uh, Terran. Thank you. You are really talented, and we'll take his drink and walk towards the uh, little hut. Not really. I just know how to sell my business. Yeah, but this place is really something. I am impressed. With I don't have to pay for it to get repaired. It's kind of nice, actually. I can imagine. I've been to some seedier bars. Anyway, could I have one of those uh, dragon breath to go? Oh, All you right. can have some of mine. I have two. I will share. So, not all. <laughs> and uh, Scooter, uh, Scooter, she gives you a small, like, what looks like can of more of the feed. Just for you. I don't get many birds. Like, pop tops. Yep. It's like a... It's like yeah. a cat food can, but yep. for verbs. I don't get many birds to come by, and one of them um, I've told to stop speaking. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, the, <laughs> oh, I see. The one, friends. <laughs> the, the one that if I met in any circumstance where it was not illegal to murder, they would be no longer breathing. Maybe well, I've also that thing out loud. Well, the thing is, they weren't always a bird. Tilt's I made head? them that. I made them that. You made them. Why? Well. They wanted to be reincarnated as something different. They used to be in um, a goblin. So they have no idea why I hate them. I no, they do not. They they didn't want to be a goblin anymore. So they, I reincarnated them into a bird. I should go apologize. No, I don't think you should. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice like day. <laughs> Pull, take sippy cup of, of hummingbird feed. 
<laughs> Con- Connor turns and makes a way to walk to the thing. Makes a few steps. Isn't going anywhere. Mark, um, Mark realizes, <laughs> turns around, and just starts pushing Connor along. <laughs> it's getting pushed along. Um, the hovel itself is rather nice. Uh, it is attuned to you guys' presence, so the door only opens when you guys walk into it. It's how this, how their magic is working. Um, so you guys walk in. It's very temperate in there. It's about, I'd say about 10-ish degrees colder than what it is on the outside. It's very nice. It's not super humid. Um, so essentially it's air-conditioned. Yeah, literally it's air-conditioned. Oh, Druids are awesome. Control. I haven't seen <laughs> this in a non-known settlement. Mm-hmm. Nice. I and like you, you guys are free to talk however you like in this building. We'll find a presumably very conveniently grown seat and uh, well, collapse in it. <laughs> yeah, literally the, how that works is um, when you think about you want to sit down, the roots just kind of form into <laughs> like a, either a chair or a beanbag chair variation, whatever you want. Uh, because maybe it's nice, he's going to tie a rope around the base of one of the chairs and then throw the rope to Connor. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is definitely I mean, distracting Connor, you, Connor, from your problems. I mean, <laughs> Connor, if, if you want, you can just kind of lay down and float in the air. Yeah, you might think it's relaxing. Kind of, kind of, kind of jealous. I, 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 actually, as a as a person, if I was in that situation watching you, I would be jealous because yeah. I kind of want to experience that. Uh, so. Oh, I, I can arrange it, that. It's, it does feel good with my leg. All Did right. you say that in character, uh, Mark or Hedy? No, I said that was out of character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what are you guys talking about? <clears throat> oh. Connor starts telling him everything that happened. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> what he tells you, I assume you're telling him absolutely everything, so I can just go over the narrative. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that the Archbishop was trying to coerce and get Connor to prove himself that he was a, a, a stout member and stoic member of the Silver Flame by literally killing everyone in the docks to get rid of the Jolly problem. Um, Connor said no in his own way. He said that his belief system was a bit different, that people can be saved. And in response to that, um, Mordekesh apparated behind him, behind uh, the Archbishop, and pierced him through the back of the spine and chest with a massive black greatsword. Um, he then proceeded to tell uh, Connor that um, he would make sure that everyone in the city will be well taken care of. And that there was a child that was... Um, born through a coercion of fiends and celestial beings that was trapped inside the tower, and Mordekash's plans for that child is to release it and allow it to live freely. To not be a literal slave of the city. I think that's more or less what happened. <clears throat> I wouldn't let the, the bishop coerce me into doing that. And I believe, yeah, this is an issue. So, is this worse than having Jolly in charge? Sounds better. This is Jolly's boss. Oh, right. Mm. Most important note. He did. T- he do. You do let them know that he didn't want you to slap Jolly when you saw him again. Yes. 
Although I, mean, I, 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 I don't know whether or not to give him a backhand or forehand, just basically because... I mean, use uh, your good hand! I mean, try both. I mean, this is a... Re- this is a Rakshasa, so a back end is a forehand, and a forehand is a back end. <laughs> That's why I'm confused. You know what? <laughs> let's just uh, let's go to hit him. She Although, should, 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 should I get some talc? <laughs> get a silver glove, just like. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is my demon slapping hand. <laughs> why do I feel like he's gonna slap me? I mean, it is the silver hand, so yeah. Oh dear. So anyway, so despite our intentions, while the Archbishop is dead, a Rechester is in charge of the city. At least we are aware of it. I'm not assigning blame, I'm just trying to understand where we are and at the moment if this is our problem I mean you've told Garrick I've sent messages I have a feeling they'll probably be intercepted ideally I would have loved to have um, met someone from you know House Civets who could send it instantly Hmm. Yes. Ooh. Mind you, who would intercept the messages? Because from what you've said, this Mordekesh kind of doesn't care, and he actually kind of threw down the gauntlet for you to tell. Garrick? He also tried to... What's the word? Pull a whammy on me. What do you mean whammy? He did. He tried to smash your head with hammer? He I tried. Him. He tried casting a spell on me. I was able to resist it. Well, I believe I did. Oh. He seemed put out that it didn't work. Huh. Hmm. Well... Uh, I probably need to tell my boss about this one. Yes. Yeah, I should tell my boss too. Oh wait, I don't have one. Lucky. Regards the regards the palm of his hand and the back of uh, <laughs> Mary's head. <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect, suspect I didn't slap you hard enough, Mary. <laughs> Uh, you, Chris, is actually going to pull out the, um, uh, I almost said Adeptus Mechanicus, but, uh, I know that's not <laughs> Same <quite right>. thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, going to pull out the cogwheel uh, amulet from the, uh, the Inquisitor, and, uh, he's going to try something that he's never done before, which is try to commune with it. He, know it ha- he knows it has some kind of direct link to the Inquisitor. Okay, how are you going to attempt to do so? Um, let's see here. Uh, I am going to, yeah, you know, I'll focus a, uh, I'll focus a spell on it. Um, I will focus the, uh, the mending cantrip on the, uh, the item. Okay. I feel like mending is like a form of order, and I think that the amulet might react to that in some, some fashion. Okay, I want you to do a straight intelligence with it. Okay, uh check save just a check okay what i get a 12 okay you begin looking at the item the clockwork item and you begin focusing casting a spell on it and you see part of it start to and it locks and you see like a little it flips in the middle and there's a small gemstone that just kind of glows red and you hear a voice pop out of it. Yes. Uh, hey, boss. Wow, that worked really well. Do you need something? 
Uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Do not mean to uh, intrude on your undoubtedly important business. I have uh, reports. No, they're, they're all dead. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, good news. Um, I found out that um, uh, Quartermaster Perry here, uh, you know, Perry, Dabgown Honk, uh, was uh, guilty of grand larceny, many other crimes as well, but he is dead. Good. Yes. What else? Uh, Archbishop was also very um, guilty of a variety of things. Many, many crimes. Uh, he's also dead, though. Good news. Excuse me? You executed the Archbishop? I, I didn't. Who executed the Archbishop? Oh, a, um, a Rex Sasha. Oh, where are you located? Uh, I am... Is this, what is this place's name again? Thalios. It's not. Huh? The, the town is called Thalios. Oh. This area Thalios. you're in? Yeah, this area you're in has no name because the bartender doesn't believe in naming land. Right, <laughs> right, right. No, I, I, I would have meant the city more than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, am in, oh, okay. I am in Thalios in the uh, northern quarter. I have... Much to report to you. And then I'm going to report all of it. Literally <laughs> go, everything? Go straight down the line of we went to the super mine, we exterminated the Kruthex, we had an encounter with demons, uh, we saw a demonic portal of some sort that kept manifesting, that the demons were able to manifest using the crystals. Uh, we returned back after uh, killing the Kruthex queen, we uh, saw a giant dragon there also, but that's not that important, I guess. Um, but I mentioned it anyway because it might be important. Uh, and uh, then when, when we got back, we discovered that uh, our contact within the city, uh, Jolly, was actually a Rakshasha. And furthermore, uh, the, that Rakshasha's boss, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mordekesh. Yeah, Mordekesh uh, showed up and killed the Archbishop and has now assumed his form and is um, uh, releasing all the prisoners. Well, actually, no. You, Chris is going to phrase it as as actually acting more lawful than the Archbishop had been, which is, you, Chris will note, is weirding him out. I have I, a question about Mordekesh. Yes. Is he a military recipient in any way, shape, or form? Uh... He looks he Connor. Style, he styles himself as a commander. Yes. <laughs> Is he an actual commander of an army? Uh, yes, I think he is. He apparently is a commander of some army. The Roxasha army, I guess. Then it will be noted that Thaliost is no longer of Thrain. It has been conquered by a general of another army. Yes, that would probably be a very uh, good way to put this situation. That is how the law works for this area. Oh, well, then, yes, that is how it worked. So it is currently a sovereign city. Uh, yes, probably. That could I, be an issue. Drain is not going to like that. No, I'm sure they will hate it very much, yes. Uh, might be worth mentioning that we've already informed the silver flame of events. Oh yes, uh, we have sent word. <laughs> yeah, we have sent word to the silver flame. Uh, Connor, if you the, remember Connor? He, if uh, the silver flame word. attempts to attack Thalios because of this, that is against international law, and I'll have to intervene. So that means I have to intervene as well. Yes. You will have to stop the conflict, correct? If they try to do so, they are not allowed to. I do not believe you're strong enough, however. I'll have to do it myself. Uh, yes, yes, very good. Yes, I agree completely. Hard <laughs> I not, after I am not fit to, uh, to negotiate between warring armies. <laughs> I have done my best, though. <clears throat> All right, give me a second. Wouldn't, um, if they uh, continue with the subterfuge, wouldn't that negate the sovereignty? Say that again? Sorry. If they continue with the subterfuge that he is the Archbishop, then 
by law they are still part of Thrain. No. Thalios can be run in any way, shape, or form it likes. That is why I wasn't able to kill the Archbishop myself for breaking the law. He had immunity. Oh! He was in a unique position to do whatever he wishes. Well, now he is in a unique position to um, do burn nothing. in hell. Hmm. This is a lot of information. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Are you still traveling with your band? Yes, uh, the five of us are all together still. Really? Yes. <clears throat> we have managed to survive, surprisingly. Connor survived the inter interaction with Quillian. We impressed. banished the Quillian, actually. Well, I mean, it, it, obviously it will come back. But... Hmm. I will wish to speak with him further in the future about how to make a more permanent dealing with Quillian. Impressive. You hear that, Connor? More permanent dealings with the Quillian. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? However, I Vengeance. would wish... I would right. wish to meet up with all of you. Yes, uh, you can do so. We are at the bar that has no name that is run by a druid. Uh, we, we may well be... I mean, we need to discuss if we're going to be stopping here or going back to our original lodgings. You mean uh, back at Blinky? No. Oh, um, with Jolly? <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's going to be very amicable that. Well, he might be. I, I don't mean, he did I mean, I know what I mean, it's jolly. I, I mean, it depends on if you guys want to get that dragon or not. I know want sleep under Jolly's roof. Jolly might do thing like uh use sleep as method to get uh contract. I see. If you do not feel safe in Thalios, then you shall meet me at at Dask Aran. Dask Aran. Um, I would have thought I would have thought we would be safe in the city. I mean at the I mean, moment things I guess, are stable. I guess technically by virtue of conquering uh Mordekesh and therefore uh uh his subordinate um uh Ethan are de facto leaders of the city. So uh I have no reason to uh, persecute them, I suppose. This is correct. If the yeah. Rexashian army is the one who took over Thalios, they have right to it. But I will either meet you in Thalios in a couple of days, or I will meet you in Descaran. Oh, uh, the lightning rail may also be a problem thanks to a certain possessed werewolf. Yes, I've, the, heard. I've had yeah. to walk everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you could have uh, you could have given us a little more of a heads up about the uh, the Quillian, but I told the one who would needed to know of it. I suppose that is a heads up, um, or a head up, as it were. He have bad anyway, communication skill. With recriminations aside. Um, Like you, we'll we'll meet with you either here or in Dustbrand, like you like you suggest, Inquisitor. Just let me know which is which. I'll be stopping I... by Daskaren on the way to Thalios, so either way is fine with me. Oh. Also, Ukris. Yes. I took your advice. Oh, how did that go? Poorly. <clears throat> I have let one of his children alive. They proved to be not guilty. You almost said it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you you see the little dot just kind of dim and it <laughs> hung up. <laughs> 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 All right. 
I guess that conversation's over. Whew, okay. Um, I I will note that um, unless there's anything specifically prevalent, we're, we're probably we're gonna have to uh, stop a little early today. Okay. Um, I have been called away to go deal with plumber shenanigans. Yeah, she has plumber shenanigans. <laughs> uh... Before I actually leave, while I give out thank yous, this is this is the last code. Please type Vermintide in the chat. I'm typing it in there now for a reference. If you would like a copy of this weekend's beta test of the free DLC, Chaos Waste. This does include the weapon pack, which will be permanently added to your account that comes with the DLC. That includes a bloody torpedo. I will be playing with you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Wait, what? A torpedo and a... A troll hammer and torpedo fight. that the dwarf gets to carry around. Okay, that makes nice. more sense. <laughs> <laughs> a steam-powered bazooka. <laughs> I love it. Uh, noteworthy, QWERTY, and Final Sight. Thank you guys for the tips tonight. I am actually able to pay Dazzle. Uh, QWERTY, Miss Gay, uh, thank you guys for the bits. Uh, Phony Chick, thank you for the host. Gilded Dash, Frazier, hey! Thank you for the subs. Uh, Frazier, thank you for the host. And Blackjack9799, that sounds like an alcohol. Welcome to the Army of Fiora. Um, all right, since we're going to be ending here, let's do our little outros, and then we should be good. Yep, uh, outros, I'll give away the code. Final sight? Uh, on final sight, you're very conflicted, Paladin. <laughs> <laughs> this was the wrong party to be a Paladin in, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and then it's Hedy. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm Hedy. Um, I didn't betray the world for a pact to get my home nation back. Maybe that's a good thing. That's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Me's your Kung. Hi, I'm Kung, and uh, well, Mary is reaching smackable levels of sass, and I finally get used for my charisma score, so that's good. Then we have props. Uh, I've been props playing as you, Chris, and uh, yeah, Dragon Breath drink. New favorite drink. Let's mm -hmm. go. And then we have Miss Scooter. Hi, I'm Fiora. I'm also your streamer, and I've been playing Scooter, um, the, the not-so-bright bird who hates other birds. <laughs> Apparently you're brighter than at least one bird in this city. Mm -hmm. He's also um, uh, caused our GM no imaginable amount of pain and suffering. <laughs> I get to do silly voices all, all day. I'm happy. Oh, no. Um, I was referring to the seven dice set when another dice match. Don't you even fucking Ooh, dare. can I see? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> then, uh, again, on the bottom here, we have Cinder. They assist me with... Um, Anytime I, I think I actually had one session where I didn't mess everything up. I think um, we have DJ Flawless who assists with any of the sound effects, and then we have um, Razzle, who again uh, works on the maps. And again, any of the map app sets you see that we're using are from Forgotten Adventures. And uh, again, I'm your DM, um, Prince Dazzle. And Fiora is showing me different colored dice that came in the same pack, including that D6 that infuriates me. <laughs> Anyways. You should see my dice pack. That's all I have. Well, my, my dice bag is a crown royal bag. All right, so I have Razzle. <laughs> that's going to be one and two. Uh, Hitomi's going to be three and four, and James is going to be five and six. Uh, it is actually a two, so Razzle, I will send you a Vermintide code for tomorrow, and you will join me. And those are all the codes I have. Hooray! Mine are mine are, are colored like you, Chris, black and yellow. Oh, nice! nice. And um, hope you guys had fun listening today. <laughs> Good stuff. So, so Kung, I gotta ask: Are your Mary theme dice um, uh, melted? <laughs> 